Oh yeah, we lie. Man, I, I don't think I can have enough uh, uh enough enough to cut the steak up and grind it up. No dumb ass question. <laughs> I'm gonna light my old thing up and give you the flow. Well, let's you know, we could just talk back and forth, you know, whatever come to you, man. Yeah, I don't I don't wanna miss nothing you're saying. That's why I won't talk that much. <laughs> man, how you doing today, bro? You talking to me? Yeah, yes. Oh uh, man, I'm I'm doing okay, bro. It's cold as hell on my end. I don't know about y'all in Alabama, right? No, we're in Baton Rouge. Oh, you in Baton Rouge? Is it, he he he's somewhere else. Is it is it cold down there? It's it's chilly as hell. Okay, well up here it's freezing, man. Pipes and shit, trees shit falling. It's cold. Oh yeah, god damn. Yeah, I stay, I stay deep south, right there. We have four, four days like that a year. Oh man, that you think that's what I need to do. I, I need to pack my shit up and move somewhere where it's, it's, you know, it don't get cold like it do up here, man. It get cold as shit. Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Here yeah, you are. You you over here too. Say what now? I say you married? I mean, this is freezing one man. Oh. Am I married? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, um, yeah. Well, you, you come down here, you're going to have to work. You're going to have to work then. Say, so I, I have to work? So you have to work then, you come down here. Oh, okay. Well, you know, uh, now we separate. You know, I'm, I'm separated uh, from my wife now, but. You know, the bulldogging, you know, you know how bulldogging is, man. Everybody can stand it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So. You ran weak ass out. Huh? Small <laughs> <laughs> uh, TV out the deal. Huh? Got a little small TV out the deal. Oh, he said, got you a small TV. <laughs> yeah, so I got out the house. I come back and stole that whole hose pipe, though. And then I'm be watching the car with my motherfucking hose pipe. I come from the house, I jump out the car and stole the hose pipe. And then I'm be watching the car with my motherfucking hose pipe. Yeah, me and her, we 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 still, you know, we got three kids. Uh, I got three kids with her, but I I have ten boys and five girls, and so you know, ah, uh, man. yeah. So we 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 got a pretty good relationship. Far as communicating, you know, we got grandkids. I got, uh, I think I got nine. I think right at ten grandkids, and so. I just try to stay in touch with everybody and vibe them, you know what I mean? Because I'm telling you, man, with the way they pumping all this bullshit on TV, and oh, then... Man, man. You, you got to watch everything they watch, man. They got gay shit everywhere. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, you right, brother. You right. I can't even watch a cartoon. I go in there to see what he watching. They got the, <laughs> pup, they got the puppy dog. Got a wiener in his hand. Trying to smash it in the in in the barber doll uh in the Ken doll face. Oh man. Like on That's TV. All kind of crazy shit, man. So we gotta let our kids know all them wicked thoughts and things and ways they be trying to plant in our youth. We gotta let them know that shit ain't no good. 
none of that old wicked ass bullshit is no good. And we got to stand up on what's right, man and woman. And uh, that's the way it's supposed to be all the days of our life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, anything other than that, you know, that if somebody choose anything other than that, I don't knock them. That's their business, you know. But as far as me teaching youth and kids, I'm, I'm speaking, you know, uh, the life uh, that we're supposed to live according to the scripture, you know. So that's where I'm at with it, you know. Somebody say 15 kids, Ross and man ain't putting up shit. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you ain't go with my mom. <laughs> Look at seven, seven baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. When I was first going through it, you know what I mean, like in the early stages of it, and then after it got to like the third baby mama, then the fourth baby mama, and the fifth baby mama. Man, that shit got like. Oh man, it was like, oh man, it was like, it was just weight, you know, on my head, my shoulders, my thoughts. And uh, and I had to take it to the most high, bro. I said, Lord, you got to, you got to navigate me through this because, you know, one coming at you, you're doing all you can to help them. You know, you're doing, I mean, and, and I just had one son that uh, I wasn't able to be a part of his life early on from birth because his mama, chose to do it the way he wanted to do it and, and I went along with it. But the rest of them, I was a part of it, you know, birth, food, growth, you know, everything, cars, house, every fucking thing. And man, I was like, man, you know, it was just a, a lot of, you know, pressure. And then I said, it shouldn't be pressure because the love that I had for my youth is greater than the pressure. So I said, you know, no matter what the mama do, no matter if she go have sex with somebody else, no matter what she do, I don't care. All I want to do is take care of my kids. And and, uh, and uh, I've been through some situations, you know, because like I, I was explaining to uh, one of my sons, I said, now you got <clears throat> two baby moms. I said, now no matter what she do, you can't be wanting to go over there and raise no hell and none of that. You got to continue to provide and take care of them kids. You know what I mean? Now it's you know uh, some people look at that and say, oh he weak, all that. You know it doesn't matter what no matter think, because I know if it come down to it. I'll be just as much man as any man ever could be and more. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I figured that it was a less burden to try to contest whatever that woman is doing. Because you know how they do. They'll, they'll find somebody else to get some sex to. Mm -hmm. Go hang out with or whatever. But if you let that be everything about what your kids mean to you, then you ain't going to be able to be there for your kids. Because you caught up into what she doing. So I had to plant the seed in my, my mind and my thoughts that no matter what she do, I don't care. I done been to the to, to one of them house and knocked on the door and she opened the door, nigga sitting there in the front room and, and, and my son right there, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 you got me now with my fist ball up. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> but you know, I, I had to use my head, you know what I mean, and, and think properly. Because why was he there? Because she let him in. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, yeah, no, I no, I no, 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 how to hit you low. Yeah, I could have went off on her and then went off on him. But what that led to? Police coming. Now, I ain't able to come and see my son. You know what I mean? 
So I just said, yeah, I just said, I said, damn. So I said, okay, look, I'll just check y'all later. You don't know. Oh, 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 wait, you can sit down now. I just, I just come back another time. And then when I left, I was saying, damn, it's the baby bird. Why, why, why you think my fist ball up? Hey, my son was about three weeks old, man. I'm like, God damn it, this got another nigga in here. I said, see, we got to take a blood test. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, we did, and, and and it checked out. He was mine, but I'm just saying, in life, you go through some stuff, bro. You go through some stuff. And it's not the stuff that you go through. It's how you handle the stuff. You know, I I got I got I got a a a, a relative man. He went through a situation with a female, and and you know he snapped. So he he, he caught a body. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But he he did twenty some years, man. All behind a thought, man. Yeah, my boy still in there. I think he done thirty five. I think he just getting halfway. Do you see where I'm coming from, man? So, y'all yeah, brothers, man, we not just y'all, all us, we got to be conscious of the thoughts that we have because it's, it's more important that we be here for our family than to let a motherfucker put us in a position where we absent from the family. You know, and that's that's the way I see it, and maybe I might be wrong, but I know uh, I want to see my grandkids become young men and, and then into adulthood. You know what I mean? You, you want to see these things, man. So um, I guess uh, how much it means to you to make sure you could be a part of their life. You know. But let's let's talk about some bullet on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 because you got you got me rolling my eyes at this motherfucker over here. Say what now? Shit. Yeah, man, man, you know what I mean? Man, I don't know where to start. <laughs> well, whatever y'all want to start up, I'm game. <laughs> oh, sure. I think, I think both phone on drop. Oh, you... you I'm still with you. You you got me? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay. All right. I got you. Oh, you saying J Bo phone done drop? Yeah, no, he no, he back in. I'm putting him in now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah there we go. I okay. got both of you. Yeah, they're dope okay. motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Hey, for the man about to look past me. Hey, 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 J-Bo, I, I didn't say nothing that made you a little nervous there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you don't kill nobody. <laughs> I told my boy that I'm going to have a flashback. Yeah, I know football. This nigga play football and all kind of shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. So, we got to be conscious of you know, the moves we make. The Laposse stuff. The Laposse Buster stuff? Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh uh, well, you know, um, when I when I first got into the game, um, I started out with the Zebo dogs. And uh, I got a bunch of them from Mr. Whitley, and then I got a few from Lonzo. And uh, then uh, I even got uh, when when I when when I met Butch, which was uh, a dear friend to me. Uh, I met him. I had let's see, we had uh, Zebo dogs, but when I met him, he was crossing his Zebo dogs with the Buster Queenie dogs, and. Uh, you know, and I was like, okay, you know, I took one of the Zebo dogs over there to uh, take a look at, and shit, man, 
Lady Stone, uh, daddy just crushed this fucking skull, man. I mean, just, I, I didn't know a dog could do that. <laughs> I mean, I really didn't, man. I just thought, you know, they just get it on and, you know, and that is. Mm -hmm. But, man, I mean, he crushed it, man, to, you know, and, and, and my dog died. And uh, I was like, look, man, I, I need to get me something off him. You know, I had Zebo dogs. And, um, uh, but where that myth come from about the Zebo dog wasn't game? You ever heard that myth before? What Zebo dog wasn't? Made, game? Yeah, who let, made that myth up? Let Let me just say this. Um, I had I had about forty of them. Shit. And uh, when I finished, I had six. But all six was game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And way, you had in my bike. So, you know, um, now one thing all of them had was mouth. <laughs> they could bite like him, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know all of them are black. Uh, all of them was black? Yeah, all of them was black. Um, it wasn't until I um, bought um, a couple of dogs from Lonzo Pratt that I seen a red Zebo dog. You know, and um, and uh, well, he was he was like a copper color, more, you know, like a copper. His name was Prince. He was a one-time loser, you know, one-time winner. Um, but uh, I bought him, and uh, Lonzo told me he said, "Man, I don't know if you're gonna be able to handle this dog." I said, "Why?" He said, "This dog ain't never been in the hands of a black man." I said, no. I said, I'll tell you what. I said, uh, I'll buy him. He sold him to me for $300. I said, I'll buy him if you'll bring him to my house and uh, I'm going to put him on a cable. I put him on a cable. I said, you can put him on the cable and uh, I'll buy him. And so he said, okay. So he uh, came on to the house with him. And, Put him on the cable and man, that son of was trying to eat me up the whole time. You know what I mean? He said, I don't think you're going to be able to handle this dog. He said, but if you ain't, you just let me know. I'll come back and get it. I said, well, you'll see. And um, uh, what I did with him is I would go out there and smoke my little herb and be talking to him. He got there and be trying to get me. Ah, you know, he's steady trying to get me. And um, I said, well, okay, I'm going to go ahead and feed everybody. I guess you won't eat. Yeah, I always, you know, when I deal with animals and people, I like to just be direct what I'm thinking. So I, 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 I let them know, you know what I mean, what's on my mind and what I'm saying. You know, the same way. I would talk to a human. I talk to an animal the same way, and um, and so uh, man, every day I would go out there, man. He try to bite me, man. He try to bite me. I say after about that third week, and I go to feed everybody. I look at him. I, I come over there with some food, and then he start. Oh. I said, "Oh, you want to eat, huh?" And I said, "Well, come here." Ah! Uh, you ain't ready. <laughs> you ain't ready. <laughs> you ain't ready. And uh, until uh, one day I went out there, man, and I called him, and that boy went to wagging his tail. And I said, well, come here. He come over there, and he wasn't trying to growl and snap at me. He was wagging his tail. I said, damn, I think I can catch him. So I got that one on there, and I touched him. Let me touch him. So then I said, oh, I can feel you good now. But it's been about three, maybe three and a half weeks. He, he hadn't ate anything, you know what I mean? God damn, he's still holding too, huh? Oh, yeah. So uh, once uh, he figured out that I was going to be feeding him, uh, he treated me real good, man. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, predominantly your Zebo dolls are black with, with a little white in them, black and white, you know, uh, white with black patches. You know, they, they come different shades. Now, I done seen some 
when you're crossing, they, they you know, like I crossed it and uh, I came out with buckskin dolls, red dolls, uh, kind of golden yellow looking dolls. Uh, uh, then uh, kind of brown, black, like a, a, a rough color with black nose. And, Little white in them, you know, they come yeah, like they had all, then they're all white when they had the black spots, a whole lot of black spots in them, but he was almost all white. Okay. Okay. I don't know how the fuck he had that. I, I ain't never had one all white. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, 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 he was all white, he was black around the eyes, okay, and, had, and a couple black spots on him. Okay, his paperwork, that motherfucker was zebra about 19 times. I don't know where his white come from. Yeah, well, it's it's white in them, you know. They 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 carry it a little white, but uh, you know, uh, I've had some look like a, you know, like a palomino patch, but you know, looking but with black patches, you know. And then I I seen I had a friend, he crossed it with uh, some jocko stuff, and he had uh, like a like a palomino looking color, and. Um, you know, um, uh, they they come different colors when you cross them, but I think if you just just stay with them, then they finally come more black. Vindicator wasn't no white dog, huh? When I said Vindicator, was Vindicator. Oh, Vindicator was, was like red, a huh? yeah, reddish, a buckskin looking like yeah, yeah, like a brownish. You know what I mean? And we had a whole lot of them look like that. You know. That color with a black mask, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, I want here. I want here by Lady Stone and that and and, and that other whore. And and the who? The the no uh, uh, tornado. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I, look, I've been hearing that without the show since I was little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, it was, we were, um, we had done um, one with a, well, we beat the kind of hand, but before we did that, a uh, friend of mine that I, I bought it from, but Butch, she was the only female in the litter, and Butch gave her to a good friend of ours, a dear friend of mine, he died uh, maybe about two or three years ago. Maybe four. He died a couple years ago. So anyway, Bush, you know, told all us, I'm going to give you one, I'm going to give you one, I'm going to give a choker one. And, um, and, um, what's his name? Joe. Yeah, Joe. That was, uh, Bush, uh, brother. No, no, Bush. Yeah, that was Bush's brother. And, um, so he gave, you know, all of us one, and then I bought, um, Turbo. You know, I said, well, no, I bought Turbo and Tuto. I bought, I bought two more of her brother. And, you know, just based upon what I seen her daddy do, you know what I mean? I was like, man, that's a biting motherfucker, you know what I mean? And her mama, uh, which is Ginger, he was just, uh, uh, man, just, just cut you up like somebody had a bitch in her, you know, just tear you all to pieces. You know? But she was a big bitch. She probably would have hit it about 47. She was a big, 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 big gold. She had them golden hazel eyes, and her color was like golden yellow. That's that was the color of Lady Stone Mama, and uh, she was off of Chico, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, Butch did a breeding with uh, Mr. Low Posse. Yeah, you get her, and um, so um, anyway. So after we we did, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, feet. You know, he had, he had been telling me, look, man. He said, man, this bitch, this bitch is this. this bitch, do we gonna do this thing? And uh, you know, I'm gonna tell you, dude, don't do that again. Oh shit, man! There ain't no way that bitch gonna beat Duchess. It just ain't no way. This was—I had a, a little mate, which was Duchess, 
And Lady Stone Father were brother and sisters, but from different litter. And I had a, a male named Hungry out of that litter too. And so I, I just, I couldn't see Lady Stone doing anything with her because she, she was a chest killing dog. I'm talking about getting your chest is lights out, man. It's, it ain't no tomorrow. Baby. It's, it's, it's over, you know? So uh, Pete felt real confident that, uh, and, and the thing about it, Pete seen Duchess go. And so um, I told him, I said, man, I'm going to have to bet, which I bet against you on this one. I said, uh, he said, Duke, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to lose your money. I said, shit, man, there ain't no damn way. That bitch ain't going to be in the hell of that shit. He said, watch what I do. I said, well, if, if, if she win, I'm going to buy it from me. He said, that's the deal. So um, he set it all up and got it done. And uh, she destroyed that. And I was like, how in the hell can a dog, you know, she was laid on just so fast, man. You know, the, go to the head, go to the chest, go to the stomach. You know, she, you know, like some dogs, they just like one spot. But she wasn't like that. She was more like a controlling dog. She want to control you and beat you up. You know, just beat the hell out of you. And so after she won, I was like, fuck it, man. I got a bitch. You know what I mean? So uh, I bought her. And then uh, we, uh, the Cunningham boys said they had one. So we were like, okay, cool. We'll, we'll jump on that. And uh, <clears throat> so we, we went ahead and did that. And after we beat them, I was like, damn. So everybody was talking about how bad Blondie was. And uh, I was like, shit, OK, well, hey, I'd like to get on that, too. But in the meantime, you know, we got on 10, Miss um, Yellow. And, um, you know, that shit was over in probably about 30, 30 minutes. I mean, she just. You just beat the hell out of her, you know what I mean? Just made her jump the damn pit, you know? And, and so, so I was like, well, damn, you know, we 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 were three good dogs with her. I said, man, I had all the big bitch on there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then they was talking about uh blinding. And I was like, okay, so me and Mr. T, you know, um roadblock crew. Uh, we was talking, he was like, man, look, he said, man, a friend of mine, you know, uh, what's her name, Chico, Chico, you know, Havana Chico, Havana Danny, he was like, man, they got a bad fish, man, it's killing dogs in five, short order, man. I said, yeah. I said, well, shit, tell my fool, let's get together, man, I'd like to get on them. He's like, bro, I don't want to do that. He said, because I'm friends with you, and I'm friends with them. I don't want to see y'all go at it. Man, we bulldogging. Come on, man. That, that, that's what we're doing. We bulldogging. I said, let them know. So some kind of way, um, they they got back with us, and uh, we got to talking, and we negotiated everything. So the whole time that uh, we, we was getting it together, and um, then Ricky Jones called. You know, I got to talking to him, and I was like, damn, you know, damn, okay, uh, what's up? He's like, yeah, uh, you know, your bitch gonna get fucked up, this, that, this, that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He said, if I was working, I she would really fuck your ass up. I said, God damn it, you work for them, so you can really do it. You know what I mean? God damn it, it ain't gonna matter who got them doing it. I'm bringing a bulldog. So if you work, I don't care who work. You just come on. Oh, well, they they gonna have it. They gonna have it. But I tell you what, if you win, then you get tornado. I said tornado. Oh fuck. Hell yeah. Oh, who this bitch is? Oh, oh, you 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 don't want that. You don't, you don't want none of that. Oh, I don't. So goddamn it, I'm getting ready then. Goddamn, I'm getting ready for both of them. You know what I mean? That bitch so, was that know, bitch that bad? Huh? That bitch was that bad? Oh, man. Uh, 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 let me finish telling you. <laughs> 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 let me finish telling you. So, so uh, all right. So, uh, 
we got them, it go down, right? We 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 get there and uh the hype is we're gonna kill your bitch in ten minutes. Okay, so what a lot of people don't understand is this is most dogs die because they bleed internally or externally. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They bleed internally or externally. <clears throat> and so if you understand what I just said, then what do you need to do? You need to prepare to do battle. That's what I call prepare to do battle. You see? So now watching all the other dogs and going to different matches and seeing dogs bleed out and all that. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm coming up with a plan, you know, how to counter that. Right? So um, I said, okay, you know, with the ones we had been matching, and when I matched her, you know, she, you know, she she got she get, you know, got some, you know, got banged up a little bit, but she never did no bleeding. So I said, well, how much of this can I use without it being a problem to her? Right? So I started doing trial runs while I was working, you know, uh, how much I was going, you know, use on it. And, uh, and then, uh, and what I mean by that is like when you, Using deck or solio del cortex. If you do too much, they'll have a chemical reaction or they'll react to it, right? So, what I was doing, I never got a reaction. It was like everything we did, that bitch would just do it like it was nothing, you know what I mean? Never ran none of that shit, you know, just, you know, just went through it, right? So um, I said, I got to make sure this bitch don't do no bleeding. I said, because if that bitch is biting dogs and killing them in five minutes, she biting so hard, they bleeding internally. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and they dying because of the loss of blood, right? So um, I got them, had a jacked up real good on all kind of shit. And um, man, when we cut them up for loop. I, I didn't think I would ever see a dog get in her chest and jack her up in the air like Blondie did. I, I just, I never foreseen that. I, I mean, you know, Duchess was a badass chest dog, and she she didn't get a chance to do it. But Blondie, I think she was a little more faster than Duchess. Because she, <clears throat> as soon as we cut them loose, she, man, she hit Lady Stone in the chest. And I'm talking about, man, she jacked her ass up in the air. I said, God damn. Oh, good God almighty. Wow, this motherfucker. Hey, I'm saying, Stone, you know, so I, I got to talk. I said, Stone, get low. Get low. Get low, girl. Get low. And man, that bitch got low. And it was like the tug of war. Uh, Blondie in her chest and Stone staying low. And that shit went on for about 20, 22, 23 minutes, 20 something minutes. And uh, Havana boys in there say, Your bitch dead, your bitch dead. Chat batting three to one, two, you know, we keep them up, everybody batting back then. So, you know, we are, hey, man, we, 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 we just, we bet every goddamn thing we had, you know what I mean? Because I just couldn't see the dog whooping stone. I just, I just couldn't see it. And, uh, Man, I seen a little black blood. I knew that bitch would bite me, but I didn't know she had did the damage that. And I seen a little black blood trickle. It just came out, and it and then she, you know, just stopped. You know, I mean, maybe about two minutes, not even two minutes, maybe a few seconds or whatever, and the shit stopped. But Stone still battling this bitch. She ain't faded. She ain't goddamn got weak. She ain't did none of that shit. She's still on all foes. They, look, these bitches was on all foes and, and Blondie was in her chest deep. And all of a sudden, they went into like a, like a trend. And Stone 
was in her, you know, had been grinding on her muzzle the whole fucking time, all between her eyes and all that shit, but staying low to the ground, but grinding on that bitch. And finally got that bitch out of her chest. And when she did, Stone instantly jumped to the back end. Boom, 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 boom. Went to the back end. Okay. And then Blondie was trying to get into hers. And all of a sudden, Stone took a deep breath. And man, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch looked like she was Hussein Bolt, goddamn it, running with that bitch in the mouth. <laughs> she beat that motherfucker all over, goddamn. I mean, she drugged that bitch in. Whoa, oh, good God of matter, bro. You talking about a motherfucking performance, goddamn it, boy. God damn, boy. Oh, boy how, 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 did face, how did face start looking? Huh? How did face? Yeah, how did face start? I know you're looking at face. It was swelling all around. You can see all that. But man, I'm, I'm telling you this is this is no lie, man. This is no lie. I I went and bought two sisters, half sisters, to Blondie out of that match. God damn. That was a yeah. person. Because she impressed me so goddamn much to be that goddamn vicious and with that kind of mouth and with that drive she had. But just Stone just, Stone took it to another level on the man. And I mean, ate her ass up, man. I mean, when I tell you Stone, man, she was in that bitch stomach, shoulder, chest, throat, head. I mean, just... just just destroy them, man. I mean, just but but listen, though, this is the thing, though. And I hope anybody will hear what I'm saying. Is when you have two clash of the titans like that, don't be too proud to pick your ace up. Mm. It was two aces going for it, but somebody was gonna die. I told Chico. And in, in, in Havana, then at the hour mark, I was like, yo, really at the 45 minute mark, they should have picked that bitch up because it was no return. Stone had total control and I mean, was dominating. And, but they left a dying there, man. Man, I would have loved to have puppies off of Blondie, bro. God damn. And day of the week, man. That was a bad bitch. Listen, everything they told me, that shit was real. <laughs> they probably, they probably wasn't gonna let them pick that bitch up. Yeah, man. They, I swear to God, man, they should have picked up, but they left her, man. And and see, I don't know what they thought Stone was gonna walk off because she was Zebo dog. But one thing though, a lot of people don't know, she had that carving stuff in the coop. That bitch got them. Hey, she was like a mom. That bitch was a raging. When she when she, when she started picking her down, oh my god, it was just it was senseless, man. I'm telling you, man. If you'd have seen this shit, you'd have been like, yo, man, you, you got a damn good dog. That bitch ain't going. You know, you if, if you ever talk to anybody else besides me that was there, they would tell you. <laughs> you could clearly see she, she wasn't on whoop stone. You know, Stone had them took the best punch. Man, listen, man. Stone had a hole in her chest, big as a big ass lemon or a big ass orange. And I'm talking about, bro, when I got her home, the blonde hair ate through her chest cavity. You know that muscle down there in the chest right there? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that that chest cavity muscle. That bitch ate clean through that motherfucker, man. God damn. Clean through it. I ain't talking about goddamn cut it and did it nick the no. There's, man, you can look in. You can you can take a, 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 a some binoculars and look in her goddamn chest. 
That's how deep she was in stone chest. But Stone took it and it came back and punished that bitch. And uh, so now, uh, Ricky Jones said, if I won, I get tornado. So now, boy, I, I'm really on the goddamn how hard now. Goddamn, I done killed your motherfucking ace. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't about to let you go into that bitch. Hey, look here. Now, let's get Tornado. So, um, they say, uh, 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 we're going we, we to get back to you. Uh, well, matter of fact, I called Ricky that night. I said, hey, hey. He said, who is this? I said, it's Boom, man. He said, uh, 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 what happened? I said, who? Told that bitch ass up. Uh, let me call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. <laughs> so I got off the phone and then, uh, you know, then, um, you know, a couple of weeks, you know, I had to heal stone. It took me a while to get a heal done. But, you know, I was like, yo, man, what, what we going to do? I said, God damn it, go on now, isn't it? Right? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. Tell you what, we're going to do it for uh, this man. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, well, let me get back to you. Let me get back to you. Let me call me again. So well, look, we can't do it for that. We got to do it double that. Double that. I said, okay, but oh, you got that? You you say the number, whatever the number is, we gonna do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then they come back. They say, well, it got to be for this. I said, well, we'll do that too. Ah, oh, well, let me get back with you. Let me get back with you. So. I know Ricky was talking to Ken because, you know, they were cool, real cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, he said, look, man, he said, man, I've been trying to get this thing worked out. I can't get it worked out, man. He said, look, I'm going to give you Ken number. You call Ken. Y'all get it worked out. I said, okay, back. <laughs> so then I called Ken. I'm like, yo, bro. I said, you know, I said, we got an opportunity to make history here. I said, and, uh, you know, two dynamite sisters, you know what I mean? We can put the motherfuckers together. And, uh, you know, they're not going to win, they're not going to lose. But I don't know if they understood, you know, where I was coming from. The whole time, I'm thinking whether Stone win or looking bad, I'm not going to let my bitch die. Cause I I know I got a I got an ace man I got a good bitch, but I was willing to put her on the line to say I had a better bitch than tornado. Mm. And so when when people talk about tornado, hey, I I can't change the things that she accomplished because she accomplished a lot. But I can say this: if they'd have put that bitch on stone, that bitch wouldn't have got all that. I know that for a fact. So I know that too. Yeah. So what I so what I did was I kept trying, I kept trying, I kept trying. They kept bullshit. Then they brought the professor. I don't know if y'all know him, but he was a pretty good conditioner up on this thing. And so they brought him into the camp. And so when they brought him into the camp. Oh, fuck, bro, we're going to do this thing now, boy. I'm, I'm happy. It's a motherfucker now. I said, they done got the professor in there. Yeah, they went and got him, so they didn't put him on me. Then I heard somebody say they was going to get Danny Burton to work or whatever. You know, I heard so many different stories. But I was like, hey, I don't care who you get. I don't care who you get. They better fucking be ready, because I know I'm going to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, so... uh it wound up and Ken called me one day. He said, it ain't going to happen, man. No. I said, what you mean? He said, it ain't going to happen. He said, but I tell you what I will do. I said, what's that? He said, we can put both of the bitches on the show together and let everybody see them. I said, hell no, nah, man. I want to be on no goddamn show with her. I want to goddamn go and do her. So I said, look, man, what you going to do? We're not going to do it. I said, well, let me breathe this bitch. So I breathe stones. Mm-hmm. And uh, my brother, then he called me um, while she was pregnant, and he said, "Hey, I heard you got you know I can. Hey, 
I heard you got another bitch up there that you would do at, at, at 44. I said, I sure hell do. And that was Sadie. I said, I sure hell do. Sadie was two-time winner going for a championship, right? So uh, we got together, and um, Ken had been calling McNasty and them the N-word and all this and all that and all that and all this. And I'm saying, you know, stop this Cause people going back telling them boys, and and they they want to get at you, man. Pop them, goddamn, you know. <laughs> no kids instead of talking shit. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So we we set it up with uh, Sadie and Tornado. So uh, we we I think we was in Tennessee or Kentucky. That's where we met, and. Um, some kind of way, Mac Nasty and them found out where we were. But yeah, Cotton Tagger, that's his name. Cotton Tagger. He he called, uh, I think that's his name. Yeah. But anyway, he told Mac Nasty and them we was doing the match at his house. <laughs> so Mac Nasty and them shows up. I'm walking Sadie out. We're getting ready. Ken was up there with uh, Tornado. And so uh, we getting ready, and all of a sudden, I see this big fat motherfucker. You know, he weighed about five hundred pounds, and he running, boom, boom, goddamn nigga! <laughs> goddamn motherfucker can't help himself, man. He's <laughs> saying this shit, and these niggas back up there. So he come down there running to me, and uh, he ain't got his dog with him. But uh, I had Sadie, and I said, well, damn, I, God damn, I got to leave my dog with this motherfucker. I said, fuck. I put Sadie back in the van, and I told him, I said, look, you just stay right here. You stay right here until I come back. So I go up there, and I'm like, uh, yo, man, come on, T, what the hell going on? Man. We're going to fuck that crap up. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. I said to you. I said to you. I said, I want you to think about it. I said, if you was having a party and I came like y'all here, I said, what? Well, how would you feel, man? I, I know, bro. I know. Look at that motherfucker. Oh, oh, fuck his ass up. I said, please. Come on, man. Well, in my party, I, I wouldn't do you like that. So, uh, you know, he said, well, tell that pussy motherfucker to, to get the fuck out of here. So we had to reschedule the match, you know. Uh, for I think we rescheduled it for a week later or two weeks later. I can't remember exactly. So we rescheduled the match and... Uh, we went, uh, we came to the Carolinas with it. And uh, we did it at, uh, um, uh, on another guy's house anyway. But uh, we went in there. Uh, no, 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 we was in the goddamn mountain. We was, it was in Tennessee somewhere. We was in Tennessee. We went somewhere else. We was in Tennessee. I, I just thought about that. And we went in Tennessee. <laughs> So when we uh, got there, you know, everything was cool. Everybody was, you know, ready. And Ken and them, they were talking shit. You know, everybody was talking shit. And uh, so they said, oh, we're going to kill your bitch in short order. They called my Sadie. So uh, we cut them loose. And that damn man, damn Sadie damn near. If Sadie wouldn't have damn grabbed Tornado, and, if Sadie hadn't have ran Tornado down, and kept that bitch in the pit. She, she probably would have jumped the goddamn wall. I'm talking about they was, man, this is no lie, I swear to God. They was in a heavy swamp. You gone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming along. I'm about to. Yeah, it's going to look good. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm sorry I had to dip off, but I had promised you guys I would get with them. Okay, all right. And so, uh, anyway, uh, damn, 
You see. So okay, so we 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 there, and they telling me they gonna kill Sadie in short order and this and that. Yeah, yeah. So if Sadie, they were swapping man. I'm talking about man. This no lie, man. Them bitches were swapping. They were swapping, 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 swapping. And I'm like, God damn, say it, go between the bitch eyes. What the fuck is you doing? You know, you gotta get smart, right? I'm trying to talk to say that this bitch, this one track man, man that's on them shoulders, on tornado shoulders, man. tornadoes on her shoulders, and they just going shoulder to shoulder, you know, they just grind and grind. And uh, all of a sudden, tornado broke out and turned and got them. Like she was getting ready to leave the pit. Say they died on her. Say they died on her. Like, come here, bitch. You ain't going nowhere. And they got they got to going again. And they got to swapping some more. So now, in that exchange, they're going real hard. I'm talking about they're going hard. All of a sudden, say they go down to a back and then come up swapping, you know, on the shoulder. I said, oh, shit. And now getting too sated. You know what I mean? I said, God damn. I said, shit, man. Sadie ain't got no smart. Man, she ain't smart enough to, 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 to get this bitch off of I said, how the hell can I make some money out of this shit? I said, God damn. Oh, that bitch gonna be dead in 15 minutes. She gonna be dead. I said, well, God damn it. I I I I bet a, a a double that goddamn it the bitch be here in party. They say what? Can't say that. Ain't no way the bitch gonna be here in party minutes. Man, <laughs> now I'm looking at the clock. <laughs> now you remember I told you prepare to do battle. Now uh, some people that's been around me they understand this. A whole lot of people ain't been around me, don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, say they didn't do no bleeding. You understand where I'm coming from? <laughs> so, I said, I'm, I, I, I'm saying, okay, uh, we're going to make it to 40. In the 40 minute came, I said, hey, give me the breaking sticks. Give me the breaking sticks. They said, what you doing? What you doing? I said, shit over, man. I said, shit over. Uh, I'm, I'm talking. Uh, okay, it's okay. I'm talking. I'll be off in a little bit. Uh, so I said, uh, uh, I said, uh, I said, yeah. I said, give me the breaking sticks. Give me the breaking sticks. Like, what you doing? I said, man, you, 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 you win the action, but I, I'm winning the money. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, hey, kid, turn red as a motherfucker. He said, you son of a bitch, you tricked me. I said, you tricked the goddamn self because you wasn't paying attention. <laughs> 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 uh, and I felt so good. Because, see, what, what, what that shows to me is when you're in the heat of any battle, I don't care what you physically or whatever confrontation it is. You got to stay poised to be able to think through it. Because if you don't, and you get all wild and stupid like what's going on, then you can make it that much worse for yourself. You see? So I, I've seen that uh, I know that they didn't believe Sadie would stay there and so I seen an opportunity to make 10 stacks. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I just played the move on their ass and they went for it. And, uh, and then I got the breaking sticks. I said, shit, this shit over. And this turned purple, you said that shit. Hey, I was so cool and calm. I think when the motherfucker said that, I said, boy, these some stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I said, because see, look, see, I believe in processing what's going on to your advantage. 
Don't process it and become miserable about what's happening. Process it and use it to your advantage. And I hope a whole lot of people hear this, understand what I'm saying. Because there'll be moments that you have to be paused enough to have the correct thought to put you in the wind column. You see what I'm saying? And it ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's just everything about being smart enough to see the action to favor what you're trying to do. You see? So, uh, Ken was a little slow, but he figured it out when it was going. <laughs> he said, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, man. Yeah. You said it yourself. Make your wife put it talk to your ass again. Hey, yeah, yeah. But but look, and on top of that, um, you know, but like I like the kid, man. He was a good guy. He just he was raised up, you know, you don't know how people raised up, but anyway, um, you know, some people are raised up, you know, saying certain things or what have you, but that still don't make them a bad person, you know. And and you know, like I had some of my friends like, man, then you call them. Man, you should have been mad, you know. Okay, that's that's what you think, but that ain't what I was thinking, you know. And uh, so uh, after that, you know, uh, he was like, "Damn, man, you know, we can kind of, you know, hang out a little bit." I said, "Hey, man, I'm cool with that, you know, but I still like to do the dogs, you know what I mean?" I said, "I tell you what," I said, "This is what I told him." I said, "I tell you what," <laughs> you know. I, Hey, look, I'm driven, you know? I said, both of them bitches old. I said, let's do both of these bitches for, for you know, for whatever you want to do. We could do it for the low, or we could do it for whatever you want to do, you know? And uh, he said, hell no, we're not doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> because I just feel like, you know, with Lady Stone style and, 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 and her speed, and, and her controlling ability, you know. And, and see, this kid wasn't like much of anything. Man, man, lady, throw her hand quarters like a cow. Man, that bitch, man, that bitch. Her mama was a big old bitch, you know what I'm saying? A big old muscular bitch, long, rangy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so, uh, you know, and you know how them Zebo dolls look. And uh, so she was cross with that. And uh, I just, I just thought that uh, even at old age, you know, Stone could still whoop her. You know what I mean? Because you know, she just one thing about it is she, she, she knew how to control a dog and kill it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, then she asked, that's what I, I was, uh, I was enthused about, and uh, that's where I was betting on her skill. Her skill. You get smart, smart as hell, man. Uh, how yeah. many litters you got off that bitch? Uh, I got two litters off of it. Uh, I got uh, a male Big Stone and uh, his sister, uh, Sam. I won with both of them. And uh, I won two with Sam. And I won one with Big Stone. After they seen Big Stone, I couldn't even get no damn dog in my no more. Man, I think that dog was worth his though. Let's see, I, I was trying to get on Barracuda with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was that big. Man, he the kill goddamn Barracuda. I ain't give a fuck if Barracuda was five, ten times bigger than me. That. Man, this is one of the hardest biting motherfuckers I ever had. Man, let me tell you something. That I had a match at 65 pounds. That's what I thought he was going to come in at. Oh, you a big son bitch on the chain. And um, when I got to working it, and uh, the son bitch fell to like 58, 59, but that son bitch was rock hard, strong, powerful. I said, man, fuck this shit. I said, I'm going to take this motherfucker in at 57. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we, we was hooked at 65, but I brought him in at 57. The boy came in at 68, Baltimore Ron. I don't know if y'all know him. He was from Baltimore. Yeah, I'm from Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah. 
And uh, everybody was talking about uh, that that dog he had had one about six or seven. And they was right. talking about he was a killer, you know. But that was a big motherfucker, man. Good God, that mother. Man, that son of damn near made Stone look like a puppy. Man, we cut them some bitches loose, man. That big motherfucker hit Stone on the side of the head and just holding him out. And Stone was just driving, just driving, just driving, just driving, just driving. Man, he fucked around and caught that motherfucker and bit him. And man, that son of a bitch tear into the drop. <laughs> it looked like somebody took a chainsaw and chopped the shoulder in the head, man. I'm talking about, man, it, I, it, it was just hanging by the skin. <laughs> hey, wasn't nothing together there. I mean, he was, that shit was flopping. This son bitch, when he took him to the corner and stood him up, that motherfucker was just like this here, leaning on. <laughs> Damn. And so uh Baltimore Ron and his boys, they went and told everybody, said, man, that's a hard, <laughs> that's a hard bite to do. And then uh, her daughter, which was uh um uh, you know, yeah, it was I bred Nimrod, my Nimrod dog get uh big stone and um uh, and, and say and then I come back. Uh, well, anyway, I, I met Sam, and uh, we went into a, a five-time winner, and that shit went two hours and something. The dog stayed between the eyes the whole fucking time, man. I mean, that dog stayed between our eyes the whole fucking time. And man, Sam just kept driving, just kept driving. Every chance, a little piece of that chest she could get. Sam was like a chest shoulder type dog. She didn't have the smarts like her mama, but she was just, you know, die hard to be there. You know what I mean? And uh, Sam just kept driving and driving. And every chance she could get to that dog chest, she hit her and shake her up. You know what I mean? The dog just hit back between her eyes and just, you know. And, uh, and, and then we made that bitch stand in the corner. You know, Sam come out that corner doing a hundred miles an hour. So I won two with her and then one one with Big Stone and then I, I heard uh Witless Ike um to Lady Chong and I got uh Turbo Underwater and uh Ginger. And Ginger was a female and uh she killed by ten dogs. Oh, I even took her to the fight. I, I, you know, I just couldn't believe what she was doing. You know what I mean? You know how you get a dog and they, they show so much mouth, you'd be like, ain't no way. Ain't mm-hmm. no way. Hey, you? you know, this this can't be real. So, uh, and every time I would do it, and then, you know, there's a, a, a breeder that, uh, you know, real famous breeder. And uh, somebody told me he had a hard fighting dog, a real hard fighting dog. So I said, with well, and they were like, yeah, yeah, because we had stopped one of their bitches with, you know, bit that bitch down. I'm talking about what, uh, uh, what I did was uh, I let her get on the nerves, and uh, she was a little wormy. And uh, I said, well, baby, today we found out that you got hard. I said, you don't show me you. <laughs> You need to know if you got a heart. And man, that dog got in her chest, was doing this and doing that. And uh, she, boy, she got that dog out of her chest and went in that dog chest and went in the back end and it was over. So I knew then. I said, it doesn't matter if she having her way or not having her way, she gonna kill you. You know what I mean? And so uh, we won with her. And then uh, I did uh, underwater. And I won two with him. And uh, so the, the children, I did, I did pretty good off the dogs that came off. Of. And then, uh, you know, I, I had some other friends that uh, I let have a little bit of the stuff. And, uh, they they did pretty good with them. And um, they got my uh, they got my five questions for you in the chat. They about to say we hogging all your time. 
no, no, no. What, 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 what kind of question they got? Go ahead. Um, talk about the uh, stone uh, back, Mr. Hampton. So what now? Mr. Hampton Axel Dog. Mr. Hampton. Mr. Hampton Axel Dog. The Hammond Axel Dog. Yeah. Hammond. I think it was Rage's. Uh, no, Hampton. Hampton. I think it was uh, Rage's uh, little mate. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't know him. You talking about? Do I know the guy? Yeah. No, I don't. But I had uh, two sisters to raise in Blondie. Well, they they wasn't the same little mate. Sisters, but they had the same daddy. It was off a of Jeep. Uh, matter of fact, they bred Jeep to Whitey, which is Grand Champion Ray's mother. And I had, and I bought two females out of there. And I and I crossed that with my lady friend. And uh, uh, when I made the cross with the Whitless, uh, <clears throat> Whitless Ike. <clears throat> I bred them dogs to the the Jeep stuff, and and I bred Nimrod to the Jeep stuff, too. and I got dogs out of that. Um, I had a bunch of them dogs, and uh, then um, that's when uh, the, the raggedy motherfuckers put the folks on. <laughs> They came in and took all them goddamn dogs, man. They took about 40 dogs. I'm talking about, if, if I hadn't have put the dogs that I did elsewhere, uh, I wouldn't have the family now. But I, 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 I still got my lady back with my witness that cropped up. I still got them. Yeah, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, Folks, it's my damn dog, man. It's so hate, man. It hates me. No. But what was the question they had in the chat? Oh, they got a lot of them. You know how that fox, that, that fox gets his bread? The who? That's, that's Samantha Fox. That fox bitch. You know how she was bread? Oh, yeah. Everybody want to know, don't yeah, I know how she was real. God damn it, why you think I was that damn holding on to it? I had her too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see, see, when when Butch died, it was uh Sandy and Ginger. Sandy is Lady Stone grandmother, and Ginger is Lady Stone mother. So I had went to Butch's wife and I told her, I said, well, look, Lou, I said, you know, uh, uh, I said, well, you know, I pay you for the dogs. You know, I just want to breed them. I ain't going to do that. Well, I just want to get some poppers off these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Uh, um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. So she gave them to this old guy that I knew. But um, one day I went over there to to get some white liquor, right? Because you know, he, he sold a little white liquor. So I go over his house, man, and I'm going to buy some white liquor. And God damn it. I look in his backyard. Man, on Sam. Sam, I mean, um, Sandy and goddamn crazy. I said, what the fuck? So I said, uh, I said, yo, man. I said, uh, what, what you doing with them dogs? Oh man, that woman brought them damn dogs here. Man, I don't want them goddamn dogs, man. Shit, I ain't got time for them. Too old for them motherfuckers. I said, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah. what, what, what will you take? Man, give me a hundred dollars, man. All right. <laughs> All right, here you go, get that motherfucker a hundred dollars and got them. But I did fuck them bitches. I ain't getting no puppies off of them. But they were like, 13, 14 years old. It was old. But I tried to. I bred I bred Lady Stone Mama to Whitley's Ike. And uh, you know, she, she blew up like she was gonna have some practice, but she didn't have none. And then I bred uh I think it was 
Crazy Red to Lady Stone's grandma. And uh, but I, I ain't get no puppy. Both 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 of the bitches, they died on my yard. Yeah. But uh, one day I'm 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 gonna put uh, I've been saying it. I'm gonna put the pedigree out there and uh and let y'all, you know, <clears throat> one day. You know, what I mean? but I, I've been tempted, I've been tempted to do it because I get that question. You know, I don't hear so many people asking how I was gonna do this. Best. But I, I can tell you this though. Man, every time Bush bred them bitches, we got four dogs up there, motherfucker. I had an aunt for Lady Stone, which was Lady Stone. Mama sisters. Ooh, that was a fight. Ooh, that bitch could fight for it. Man, um, I had won a match with one of my one of my bitches. I had bought from Lonzo or Zebo bitch. And so I like shit. I was on the how hall then, you know. So uh but then, man, that bitch ain't shit. I said, shit, you ain't got nothing to whoop. He said, I tell you what, bring the bitch on to the house. I said, okay, cool. I don't want to match with this bitch. Man, I get over there and goddamn, the bitch went in my back and broke her back in in two minutes, broke that shit. I mean, not had black blood in here. I'm like, look here, hold up, man. Get this motherfucker off. He said, she don't kill you. Yeah, goddamn, what the fuck? I was she come from? He said, that. He said, Joe, Joe had her. I said, well, look, fuck, I need to talk to Joe, so I went down to Joe's house. I said, God damn, Joe, how much you want for that bitch? Oh, no, I'm not selling that bitch. That bitch bad, ain't she? I said, you got that right. <laughs> and uh, I kept on until he sold it to me, man. And uh, and I got him, man. I couldn't, I couldn't get nobody to, to, to do nothing with him, man. I can, uh, can't think of what happened. But, uh, but anyway, I, I was trying to knock it, trying to put it out there. I couldn't, I couldn't get nobody to dance with it. But boy, everything come off Sandy and Jimmy. They came with mouth and intensity. They, they was like, you know. Now, I had another brother, uh, Trouble. Uh, that was a bad month ago. Uh, I, matter of fact, we whipped the Cunninghams with him the first time. Well, I matched Lady Stone and him the same night. We won both matches. We went into the Pentagon. And uh, then the second time I, I matched him, they uh, wanted to uh, do it during the summer. And, you know, me, you know, not not really thinking. And uh, I'm like, man, why the motherfucker got this dog sitting beside that hot ass bun? Fucking dog got there on the chain beside a hot ass, I mean, South Carolina heat. Have you ever been in South Carolina, man? No. Yeah, they good. Bro, they good. Hot as a motherfucker down there, man. Oh, so is, I your got, church, is your church part hot, huh? Huh? Is your church part hot? Yeah. You ever been to church part? I, I couldn't hardly understand you. Say what now? Have you, you ever been to church part? Church part, uh, South yeah. Carolina? No, Louisiana. Yeah. I might have done been past that because I, I do work all, all over. You know, I go everywhere. I do work yeah, they got a special. They, got, they had special rooms for you down there. And in ten minutes, you got to come out of there. Yeah, yeah it, it, it'd be hot. So anyway, we uh we down there, and um, they got this dog sitting inside a fucking metal barn in the sun. I'm like, ain't no goddamn way I put my dog out there like that, right? But that was a part of their plan to beat me. Because if they'd have had, you know, I thought <clears throat> we was going to be in a place where we we're going to have air conditioning or uh, a big fan blowing, you know, keep the dogs cool. So when we got in there, they said, yeah, we got a big fan. We're going we're gonna to run this fan and everything. And, and they tricked me, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I told them, you know, because Turbo was that bad. If you got in the ring with him, you ain't going to live. You know, he just, he going to, that motherfucker had teeth in his mouth like Sega Tooth Tiger. And I'm talking about he was just like Stone, controlling. 
anywhere he can put his mouth on you, that's what he's going to do. And it, it went right at three hours and uh, turbo hemorrhage. I say about the I say about the two hour mark. We're in the heat, man. I'm talking about South Carolina. Man, I'm look like somebody pulled a bucket of water on my ass. That's how bad I was sweat. And uh and I give it to Boomer. He took that ass whooping like a trooper, man. He took that ass whooping. He was falling. That last scratch he made, bro, that must fell probably about five or six times. I don't know. He might have fell more than that. But God damn it, he came all the way across. But Turbo had hemorrhage. And so, you know, he was just down and out. But uh, that's what made me uh, breed to the Whitley dogs. Because uh, Boomer and, and Whitley's Ike are Little Mate brothers. Matter of fact, Butch had a brother. A little mate brother, and uh, Duran and them had two. They had Boomer and Hachi. Turbo killed Hachi, and he killed Boomer too. Cause if if it hadn't been for the ass whooping that Boomer took, he wouldn't have never died. But he died because of that ass whooping, and Turbo died from the heat exertion, and he hemorrhaged. And uh, but there was action pack man and uh um and so that's how i got ginger and and all them dogs man and uh and they did good man I, I, and i and i loved it i just wish that uh i wish i'd have bred stone more than what i did but i, I just you know i wanted to campaign her man i wasn't really trying to breed her a lot i i, I just wanted to put it out there because i just liked her skill set and she had a brother, like I said, Tuto. I matched him. He went an hour and something, and he pulled up on me, you know. But uh, he was a big dog. He about 50, what I do him at, 55, 56, 57, you know. And, uh, but uh, I really enjoyed that run, man, and then meeting Butch, you know, and uh, vibing him and, uh, you know, and then the dogs and, uh you know, it was, man, it was a good place, man. I just wish we could turn back the hands of time, man. And I just wish Bulldog was like it was 40 years ago. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, where, you know, you go to the people house and they cook up some food and you do the dog. Everybody leave as friendly as they can, you know? That's 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 what I call bulldog. You know what I mean? And uh, so I don't know. Did anybody else have any questions? Uh, what else did somebody else say? Huh? Uh, I guess they were, they was wondering what, what um what was your hardest mouth dog? Was it a female or a male? Yeah, come off later, so. Oh, just in general. In general, the hardest mouth dog. Well, there's there's a few of them, bro. It's it's not no, I you know one. Uh, I would say. Um, Lady Stone Aunt Sam was a hard biting bitch. Come on, bitch about that Sam bitch. Huh? Come on, I was asking you about that Sam bitch. Oh, what they ask? What they say? Want you talk about? Her? Oh yeah, she she looked like a vindicator. Mm -hmm. That kind of reddish buckskin looking like. And uh, but man, I'm telling you, man, that bitch, man, God mm -hmm. damn that, that bitch. She was something special, man. I mean, man, real good with kids. I mean, real friendly. You know what I mean? But boy, when you put her on the dog, that it seemed like that bitch just she just go to another gear, man. I mean, she gonna destroy that motherfucker, man. <laughs> and so uh, you know, Butch used to always tell me, he said, he said, Boom, you're going out here and buying all these damn dogs. You can't buy a better dog than I can breed. And now when you get them, bring them over here. 
Não, não peço. Olha que é bom. Ei, a gente não pode. Look at that. Hey, now, this is a true story. I went and bought a mail from, because uh, after he fucked my other dog up, right? <laughs> I, I went down in the. Uh, uh, the Mr. Lofas, you know, and uh, I went and bought a mail. His name was Copper John. Screaming, I, I rolled him a few times, man. That man was screaming, you know. Like a big butcher. He said, I'm boom, don't you be too loud enough to pick that motherfucker up. I wish you don't you be too goddamn proud, you know? Man. <laughs> that dog, man, that motherfucker was dead game, but brother, he died. He got killed, man. He, he got eight fuck, man. I was like, damn, damn. I spent my goddamn money in gold, man. Shit. And that's when I really put an emphasis on Butch, man. You got, you got to give me some of them dogs you got, man. I got, <laughs> I got to get some of them motherfuckers, man. I need dogs like that. But that's when I, I really found out that you could uh, you get some dogs that can change a dog's life. You know what I mean? So some of the hard fighting dogs that I've seen, I've seen uh, Tornado, she bite hard. I seen uh, uh, Blondie, she did her. I seen, uh, let's see, who else I seen? I was uh, at a convention at Ricky Jones' place uh, years ago, and a uh, dude came to me and he was like, yo, boom. He said, I like you, man. He said, you want to make some money? I said, yeah. He said, you bet on this bitch right here. There ain't nothing been past five minutes. I said, what? This was a white guy. I don't even know his name now. I can't even remember his damn name. I said, what? Yeah. He said, yeah. He said, ain't nothing been past five minutes. You know, I think he said she had six or eight or something like that. I was like, yeah, yeah. I said, okay. So I told him, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? I got five on this bitch right here. He said, yeah, I got you. Man, kill the hell out of Ricky Bone, man. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was a badass fucking bitch, my man. Man, I said, whoa. So, uh, you know, uh, we went against Stan. I think it was Stan the Man. I think it was Stan the Man. They had a little bit. And we used uh, a bitch off of uh, Willis Ike and um, Bam Bam. And she was a one time winner. But uh, this was her second match. And that dog got in the back end, and just broke her back end down. I mean, just broke it. I mean, broke it. But uh, I let her go for a little bit longer. But I just wanted to see what she, you know, she, she gonna run out of heart. But she didn't. That bitch was scratching like it, like she was winning. And so, uh, you know, we brought her on back home. And uh, uh, let's see who else I seen. I seen a cowboy dog one time. I was in Florida. And man, that dog was biting plugs out of the fucking dog. I mean, just biting hunks at the dog. I was like, damn, that's a biting motherfucker. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, I seen one that uh, we went against that lost. Uh, we beat him, was the hurricane dog. Man. Uh, we did the Titan dog on him, and man, he clean. You know, he ate half a Titan here. Wasn't none of it in the pit. It was a hurricane stomach. God damn! <laughs> damn. Which which hurricane that was? Uh, Taurus uh, hurricane. Whatever, whatever his killer name, I can't even remember his damn killer name. Uh, anyway, the dog, Tom, Tom had bread today. Oh, Epinet, what's that? Epinet bought him after after that. Mm. You know what I'm talking about, Epinet? Oh, okay. He bought him it was after. Earl Jr. Stuff? I guess so. Whatever he was, you know, I don't, I don't know. 
I, I, can't, I don't know exactly how he would do it, but I know he had came off. Huh? Uh, somebody say who were better, Batman or Nimrod? Oh, my God, damn it. That dog dance on that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so look, uh, Nimrod, man, once he put that mouth on you, man, it's over. It ain't no coming back, bro. You, 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 you just, and, but see, Nimrod, he, 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 he like, how you doing? My name is Nimrod. <laughs> I'm talking about, hey, bro. Hey, we went on. We we did we 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 did him on uh, Johnny Youngblood, and uh, I don't know if y'all know him, but uh, he, he's an older guy. And uh, man, this is what we did. Okay, they uh, had a male at 49 pounds, so Nim was about a 46, 47. And so, you know, uh, I had to roll the hell out of him. He was destroying everything I put him on. And so I said, damn, I can't find him at, at, at the weight that I wanted to do him at 46, 47. So uh, FB called me and said, yo, man, man, got a good dog, man. You want to do him at 49. So I told Fat Bill that I was going to bring Thor. So what I did, I bred Thor to an inbred, I'm going to say, I bred Crazy Red to a triple breaded Pedro dog. And so I had two males off of that. And both of them, one of them had, Thor had good mouth. He was rough, big, rough motherfucker. But uh, Buchanan, man, and he had the, what you call, the hot legs. Both his back legs was hot. But uh, I'm telling you, man, that motherfucker from the ground, he would fight, he'd be, his back end would be on the ground and the front legs be standing up. But boy, when he grabbed your, I mean, man, he had Sega tooth tiger teeth in his mouth. God damn. Man, uh, man when that son of a bitch grabbed your dog, man, oh my God, he'd make him holler and whine. Damn, that was a biting son of a bitch. And uh, that, what they asked me, I'm trying to make a point. What they ask? No, no, whatever you come up with. No, no, no. If they ask me something. I want, I want to, I want to address it. Mm -hmm. Somebody just asked you about JP. Oh God damn! That goddamn jaw presser. Hey, look at jaw. <laughs> jaw, jaw pressure remind me a lot of Lady Stone, but I'm from a male version, and. Uh, he uh he was a a dog that uh, would get in your chest and, and punish your ass. I mean, jack you up to the moon, goddamn it! And um, then um, we did him again, and uh, he that that's it, that was the second, time. and then so that was the third, so the first, the second, and then the third. Okay. So his, his first one he won in like an hour or something. The second one he won that. And then he, hey, look, this was funny. He got in the dog chest, and I mean, he just stayed in there. And he was jacking the dog up, and the dog looked up in the in the air and said, "Oh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh!" The dog started howling. <laughs> <laughs> I had never seen that, man. I had never seen a dog do that. And, uh, and, and we stopped him. And so his third one, uh, we, uh, you know, my buddy, he, he, he kind of got, he had, he had the hernia. Uh, he had the operation, or he had to get the operation. And so, and then uh, JP, so, you know, this is what I tell people. A bulldog, whether he's sick or healthy, he's going to be a bulldog. He a cur, a cur out, whether he have an advantage or not. But a bulldog, whether he's sick or healthy, he's going to be a bulldog. And so that night uh, when JP was going, um, uh, he, 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 he wasn't in the best shape that he could have been in. 
and uh, but but he fought defensively whenever he had a chance to put the offense on. He did, but he fought defensively to keep the dog from taking advantage of it. And so the boy uh, that came with them, you know, uh, was waving his hat in the pit, and the referee told him, "Yo, man, you can't do that, man. Don't don't don't, don't do that." So then the dude, I don't know. See, that's another thing. You, you can't bring dumb motherfuckers that don't know what's happening, man. If a motherfucker don't understand how to act around that box, he don't need to be there. Man. This dumb motherfucker throws the hat in the pit. I don't know. Uh... So that was a foul. So JP, he won on the foul. That, like, but I promised JP <clears throat> I said, uh, you'll never see that stage in your life again. And that's not to say my homeboy wouldn't have did a good job if he hadn't have been sick. But I just wanted to, you know, put my hands on him because he come off my stuff. And uh, I told him, I said, look, man, let, 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 let me take it. So, so after that, so you had a, a whole lot of niggas there done got cocky and they done got their money together. They done built their money up and, you know, niggas, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, making students money and this or that, whatever. And so the niggas got the fat lifting. They like, yo, we calling that motherfucker out. He had quit. I said, oh, he will. I said, okay. I said, I said, yeah, but the only way we'll do it if you bring him to 48 pounds. Now, we've been fighting JP at 52 pounds, okay? 52, 53 pounds, right? So I said, okay. They said, ain't no way you're going to bring him down to no 48. I said, for you clowns, because y'all don't know a goddamn thing, I said, I'm going to bring him in at 48. So I took my time and um, I trimmed him down and uh, I kept working and making sure he was strong. He was strong. I know he was strong. At, at 48 pounds. He went from 53 to 48. Ooh, he was and, yeah. Damn. And, uh, I think it went 22 minutes. He bit that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was trying that motherfucker. Made the dog. Hey, look at this. The, the, the one nigga. Look, they done bet all their money. You know how motherfuckers done went and read up and this and that and that and this. You know what I mean? <laughs> they had a pocket full of money right then, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, JP was in that motherfucker ass in so deep. The nigga say, Come on, Rambo. They got a pit side turn, man. <laughs> they done. They lost them fifteen dollars, boy. <laughs> sure. Hey, so after that night and everything was over that week, some boys come and said, "Man, the boys here to go get a ball." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hey, man, y'all niggas lying, man. <laughs> I was dying laughing. One of them niggas had me crying laughing, man. I was just saying, niggas we lost all that money. <laughs> Turn all over again. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, I said, this is what I told him. I said, look here. I said, I said let me talk to you. <laughs> they got their head down. I said, look, now, don't y'all call nobody else, you hear me? I said, whenever y'all get ready, y'all call me. Hey, roll his eyes at you, <laughs> like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny, man. Oh, dying laughing, man. That shit was funny. And so then, after I did that, right? So, Boys, you know, they ain't talking no more shit now. <laughs> so I said, damn, I can't get none of these motherfuckers no more. I said, I got I gotta go out of town. So I went down south. 
<laughs> and uh, I was watching some matches down there, and and niggas, you know, got the talking noise, and and so uh, one of my homeboys, Prime Time, good friend of mine, I love that brother, man. He was like, "Yo, man, I want you to come down here so you can show these motherfuckers how to do this shit." No problem, man. I'm on my way, you know. So I get down there and uh, I see everything going on. I said, God damn, I'm in, a good, I'm, I'm in a good place here, you know. And so, uh, what's well, it? Yeah, man, we got we got one going, and you know, did that. We do this, we did that. I'm, I'm listening, like, yeah, okay. So, uh, we get there, and uh, so the little dog named General, so he tell me. Yeah, man. See, I, I got a vet in there, and he, he works for my dog. I said, "Oh, yeah." I said, man, man, you got a vet. Position your dog. Yeah, man. Man, truth, man, truth. See the truth. Oh, okay. We get there. I see the man. I say, "Hey, what's happening, bro? How you doing? Hey, how you doing?" I'm the white guy. So they put the dog down, and um. He get his ass tore up by the cube. He tear his motherfucking ass up. So I'm watching the action. The little dog they had was, to me, the general was a better dog, but he couldn't do what he wanted to do because he didn't have the strength and power to do it. You know, he just he was just too weak. He just he just couldn't he couldn't do what he wanted to do. But they telling me. Veterinarian is an ace. So uh, I said, hey, man, I said, you, 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 you ain't going to win this. Not, not like this. You ain't going to win this. I said, but uh, let him scratch. And if he scratch, then let's, let's put him on my program. And I bet double the money he killed that motherfucker, that, the Cuban cat. And they were like, so everybody look at me like, like I'm from outer space or Mars or some shit, right? <laughs> Niggas looking at me all crazy and shit, right? So I'm like, yeah. I said, yeah. I said, now I bet my money. <clears throat> and so the dude look at, at my homeboy Prime and Prime, he said, Prime, did you hear what he said? He said, yeah. He said, if, if that's what he said, then hey, that's what he mean. So I said, man, tell the man you going to pick up. Let them win tonight. I said, but we'll come back with this same dog and kill that motherfucker right there. And uh, he said, okay. So set it up. So then, you know, the Cubans, you know, they, they got plenty of it. You know, they, motherfuckers, boy, they, they got to talking so much shit, man, that night went. Oh, we we could do four five. We could do this. We could do that. This that this that. You know, and uh, I had to gain a little extra weight back then, and uh, you know, it's moving a little slow. You know, mm. and but they didn't know it was music to my ear. They were talking this shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah. We could do all that shit y'all talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Let's see. We started on a Thursday. Friday, Thursday. Come back this Saturday. We started on a Thursday. Come back this Saturday. Clean house sweep. God damn it. Kill every fucking thing they had. God damn. I'm talking about dropped them. I'm talking about like a bad. And then JP. Uh, was the last one that we did. And uh, they had a, a dog terminated. And uh, the brother you listed, I, I love that brother because he got hard. You know what I mean? I, I like a motherfucker with hard. You know what I mean? I'm down with that. You know what I mean? You know, a motherfucker bulldog and he got hard. I, I don't care who it is. I, I love a motherfucker with that hard, you know, to, to do the dogs. And uh, man, the man coming there, he had his dog in good shape. He had his dog in good shape. But JP was just too much. 
JP was smart like Lady Stone, but control you and will eat your ass alive. You know what I mean? And uh, and that's what JP did. Just broke him down there. Man, it looked like somebody shot that dog probably about 500 times. That's how many holes that motherfucker had from his head to his asshole to his tongue. Man, that motherfucker had holes all through his body. <laughs> You know, we did that run, and I mean, we done did so many things, man, that uh, I don't even remember or done forgot. But that's been the beauty of bulldogging from the seven. And uh, I'm one of those, you know, I'm a 60 baby. Mm-hmm. The 70s was, uh, what's the years, man? And uh, we uh, got introduced to uh, we really enjoyed it, man, and uh, met some good friends. You know, the, the whole thing about it, man, I've met so many good people, man. And then I've met some motherfuckers I don't care to talk to. Sure. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it go both ways. You know how it go, bro. You know? And uh, so, you know, it's, it's just been a fun ride. And uh, I'm just enjoying the, the, the fumes from the past and the memories. Yeah. And uh look how many people gone. Yeah, man, so man, so many of my friends. You know, Bush died, um, uh, Mr. Whitley done died, uh, Lonzo died, uh, Gene Smith died, um uh, uh Gene Smith had all the jeans, honey Gene ham. Uh Harry Hargrove done died. Um Let's see, uh, and it's, it's just so many of, um, uh, I think even uh, the old man Mason, I think somebody told me he had passed or something, right? I ain't heard that. Huh? I ain't heard that one. Oh, okay, so he's still around? I I, just, I hadn't heard that. Oh, okay, 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 well, I, I know that um, a lot of the guys, me and Wes, uh, not a lot, but a, a few of the guys, they done passed. And uh, just a lot of great, though, man. Ken died. You know, he was a good person. Magnasty died. Uh, Mr. T died. I mean, you could just go on and on and on, man, with all the good brothers that uh, have participated with the dogs. And um, and I know soon come, you know, our time will come, too. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I regret is that uh, I, I wish that me and Ken could have did Lady Stone and Tornado. Uh, I tried, man. I, man, I talked so much shit to him. I figured if I could talk shit to him and, and then any amount of money he wanted to bet, bet that to, I, you know, I was trying to drive him to do it, you know what I mean? But he wouldn't do it. <laughs> man, you never seen Queen? Huh? Did you get a chance to see Queen go? Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I did, but I can't. I, I'm not for sure because I remember they were saying, "Yeah, Abraham and them doing Queen, Big Brother. We going up there to uh, we was in uh, it was in either in Detroit." up there in Michigan or somewhere. And uh, it's it's been a long time, man. It's been a long time. I had to talk to Joe to see if if I was there that night. I can't I can't remember, but I but I do remember that night meeting that was the first time I met Joe and his brother. And I think they did Queen that night. I I, I think they did do her that night. And uh, she was nice, man. They had a, <clears throat> a real good female. Mm-hmm. It's just been so long, but it's just been so long. And uh, you know, sometimes you, you kind of go blank. You know, I was smoking that good weed too, man. You know how that shit is. <laughs> yeah, I'm smoking now. <laughs> <laughs> your memory bank, your memory bank, get a little lax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
But yeah, one day, man, um, I got I got Lady Stone and them pedigrees. I have them, you know. And uh, I just, you know what? I've never been a person that was fond of, uh, you know, um, putting things out there like that. You know, I don't know. I guess I just didn't want. I just didn't want no trouble from it, you know, but uh, I do have it. And, uh, uh, you know, everybody want to know how Samantha was there. But see, uh, you know, is, you know, but anyway, yeah, you know, they, they, they were real. Let me just say this. They were well-bred bulldogs. As a matter of fact, uh, they come from uh, J.R. Lopez. So, you know. Um, I think somebody I, I said that what was those dogs related to Diablo Sam? Say what now? I seen somebody add, I said, was those dogs related to Diablo Sam? Diablo Sam? I don't know who is that. I think he was out of uh, Repasse Buster, the Savage Queen, I think. It, it, anything was the the busters and queen and stuff you know that's where butch got his dogs from mr lopez mm -hmm. so matter of fact it, it was butch brother edward jr he was the one that hooked up with mr lopez and then he turned butch on to him and then they just you know start getting dogs from So that's that's how I was able to, to get my stuff. And then I went back and I bought Copper John and then uh, my homeboy Jam, he, hell, he bought a whole lot of them motherfuckers, man. You know, so we, we were loaded up with them, man. Matter of fact, you know, we were we right here where they, at, where they was at, you know. Uh, Mr. Lopez, they stayed in Sanford, Sanford, North Carolina, with Salad City. No, it was Sanford, Sanford. And uh, just right down the street from, you know, where I live, uh, about, what, about 30, 45 minutes, something like that. You know, not far. Yeah. Y'all got a chance to see Diablo Sam. Did I get a chance to see him? Yeah, I've seen him. Oh, okay. Then. You seen him. Okay. How you like him? Man, he lit my, he lit my partner up. Uh, my partner at eight time one. And they brought okay. that song out of retirement. Bought him out of retirement and still work. He's out of retirement and sucking my ball down to 52 pounds. Because he was, he was also doing his at 65. Okay. And so yeah. did, he, did he take care of the business? Yeah, he beat Justin Molester with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I seen him beat Justin Molester with him. He beat uh that grand champion uh, Curly Dog. They threw him for him. Okay. Um, so, so you know that the, the low posse family have been well represented with with their animals, you know. Yeah, I think old man Anderson had him at the time. Okay. Yeah, that was a badass motherfucking dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. That was the yeah. baddest I could ever see. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a great family of dogs to have. You know, and I heard some. I've heard people say that uh, some people had the Buster Queen of dogs that uh, they wasn't game. I said, well, okay, I don't know how they breed them or whatever, but I know the ones we had. God damn it, you, you, the only way you shit, man, you, you them motherfuckers will stay on your ass. They ain't leaving. They, they won't walk off from no dog. Yeah, nah, we, we had them bred to the Doc Holiday stuff. Okay. And okay. Little dog from Tom. And them was from who? Yeah. Man, you ever cross that stuff with some fucking uh, Frisco stuff? You know what? I ain't gonna lie to you, man. See, it, what uh, a lot of people don't know is uh, <clears throat> in the early days, you know, uh, the Frisco dogs and Chinaman dogs. They was they was my competition, and um, you know I, I enjoyed putting dogs on them. You know what I mean? 
Because, mm-hmm. you know, because to me, if if you ain't got one that can take it, you ain't got nothing no goddamn way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, See, yeah, if, a, a bulldog, if you got a bulldog, win, lose, draw, whatever the case may be, he going to stay there. I don't care if he's sick. I don't care if he had did. The son bitch going to stay there. But, you know, a lot of people make excuses for these dogs when they go to quitting and curring out. Oh, he was sick. Oh, he didn't feel good. He's a fucking cur. He, he curred out. But a bulldog, I done seen it with my own eyes, bro, with my own dogs and other people's dogs. As long as that motherfucker can go, he going to keep going. And he ain't going to be trying to run. He ain't trying to turn. He ain't trying to do none of that shit. He's straight trying to take care of the baby. And so, uh, you know, you got a lot of people that make excuses for him. Oh, well, he didn't feel good. I don't give a damn if he didn't feel good. The son is still supposed to go. You know what I mean? All right. And, Charles, but, Charles in Texas say what's happening. Who? Charles, Charles in Texas. What's up, my brother Charles? How you doing? <laughs> yes, I, true soldier. <laughs> Damn, man, you got all kind of people listening to us, don't you? <laughs> Damn, yeah, man, I ain't know you go. How far you go? You go to Texas, too? Yeah, I don't think they're listening to me. Yeah. I think the game just off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm just saying they they on your show though, you know. I mean, damn man, I I didn't know. I just thought we just gonna be, you know. I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, big up maximum to the man called Charles. <laughs> Anybody else in there shouting us out? Yeah, I had a whole lot of credits for you. By the time I could read one, hell, uh, the screen went in. But shit, let's 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 try whatever else you got. Let's go. What what that word you said here, family? What that word you're asking? Say what you talking to me? You had, you had um you had dogs off a of jeep, huh? Yeah, I had dogs off a of jeep. Yeah. Mm. So you had the jeep stuff, the the posse buster stuff, the the zebo stuff. Mm-hmm. What, what was your um? Favorite line, something I want to know if you had started all over again from scratch. If I had to start all over again, I I start with the Buster Queen and Zebo dogs. Okay. And then I throw the Jeep stuff in there with them. I liked it what I got off that when I bred Nimrod. A matter of fact, let me tell you what I did. I ain't even tell y'all this, sir. But uh I uh, uh, <clears throat> it was some boys. They had a male. They called him John Henry, and they was talking. Well, matter of fact, uh, Iris Jerry had won, I think, three with him, and um, and so um, they they called me and they said, "Oh, we 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 got one. We we want to do at uh thirty nine. What was thirty eight? Thirty nine." 39, 38, somewhere along there. And I was like, damn, I ain't got none that size. But I knew I had one smaller, which uh, I bred uh, Crazy Red to one of the Jeep uh, Buster Queen of Bitches, Jeep and Whitey. And I bred Nimrod, the son. Nimrod was Crazy Red's son. And I bred him to the other sister so uh the the crazy red that came off of crazy red number one and the jeep and whitey bitch i named him crazy red number two and so when i when i was rolling him man that motherfucker could fight Ooh, that little red son of a bitch boy he was half dog uh, I mean, he eat him up, right? But the motherfucker was so high strung, he fight his chain all day and all night. I'm talking about, man, I could, you know, you could be in the house. You know, I had him way down in the bottom, down in the woods. Down there. 
And uh, you can hear that motherfucker all day. All day, all fucking night. So I said, shit. I said, that son of a bitch ain't gonna quit. I'll put that motherfucker on that damn, that, that champion they got. You know, I said, uh, I tell you what, I got one. I said, and I'm gonna do y'all a favor. I said, I'm gonna put a dog on y'all with no teeth. I said, but I bet everything I got, he'll kill you dog. Cause he, when he had his teeth, he could fight. I mean, bro, he would fuck dogs up. So, uh, the day came, and uh, goddamn it, we 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 dropped him. And boy, see, really, uh, I had a thirty-six pound match dog, but I brought him up to make the weight. Uh, I think it was thirty-eight, thirty-nine. But what I did with him, I didn't blow him up to be fat. I worked him to get that hard muscle on him. I made him, I got him hard as a brick wall. That little son bitch looked like a torpedo, man. And uh, so when we put him in there, in the first 30 minutes, he got his shoulder broke. The dog was bigger than him. But I knew one thing, he had to kill him because this son bitch loved to fight, man. And uh, shit, man, every chance he got, he would hit that son bitch in the chest and swing the motherfucker across the pit and dive on his ass. He wouldn't run over there. He'd dive on that motherfucker and be shaking him and slinging him out his mouth and dive on him. <laughs> that little motherfucker. <laughs> hey, until he beat that bitch down. And look, let me just tell you this. Before we dropped him, I said, I want everybody to see. Cause I don't want nobody saying this, saying that. I opened his mouth. I said, he ain't got no teeth. I said, but he gonna kill that motherfucker right there. But see, what they didn't know is when he did have his teeth, he could bite like hell. So I figured he would still have the same pressure. He just wouldn't have the teeth. You know what I mean? To tear him up. But he, he'll be able to you know, break him up, right? Shit, man. That thing went about an hour, a little over an hour. And man, not only did he break him up, he killed him. And carried him out. <laughs> God, damn. Hey, damn. and got his shoulder. Hey, look, got his shoulder broken in the first thirty minutes. I had to look. I had to put his shoulder together when 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 I take him back to the corner. Uh, I had to push his shoulder back in and put his leg back together. And when I cut him loose, he would just. I'm talking about like sprint like he and dive on that motherfucker. Go elbowing. <laughs> and uh, boy, them niggas were. Well, we lit their ass up. Well, we throw their ass up, and boy, they was they was sad, man. They was sad. <laughs> oh, Vernon, oh, Vernon, Star, huh? Vernon Star say what's happening. Vernon stop. Vernon who? Vernon Star. My man Vernon Starr, them will call him Truth Soldier. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, 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 who, who was the hardest to beat? Who was the hardest to beat? Yeah. Who was the hardest to beat? Who was the hardest? Now, I, I, I'm going to tell y'all this little story here. Uh, Ken Allen had a bitch named Little Sister. And uh, we had uh, we had matched into Ricky with uh, Crazy Red Sister, which is Whitley Sandy. And uh, we we whooped Ricky. I think it was about forty some minutes, right up under an hour, somewhere along there. But that that bitch Ricky had was a was a damn good bitch. But uh, Sandy just you know just out bulldog with this. You know, just 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 did a thing. So we on the high hole with this bitch. We're like, oh, okay. She ain't all that smart, but she she stay, you know, she stay into you. You know, she she get a, a mouth full and, and work your ass. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so uh Ken Carl said, I, I got a bitch. We'll do it what we did with 39 pounds. 
Yeah, 39 with 39 pounds. That's what we do. 39 or 40, 41, somewhere like that. But anyway, so um, I'm thinking, I said, yeah, we're going to run through Ken and man, that motherfucker brought a little sister. <laughs> gracious. Boy, that bitch, goddamn bitch, sent in the muzzle. I mean, took that shit off, man. <laughs> I, I, I said, God damn, what the fuck he got here? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it went, it went about, let's see, it went about, I think about 40 something minutes. So I looked back at Mr. Whitley. I said, look, man, I said, listen, I said, bro, Reddy is already dead. I said, we ain't nobody left but Sandy. <laughs> I said, we, we need to pick this bitch up and call it quit. I said, cause we can't win. I said, you know, I said, we might out game her. Because Sandy wasn't, she never turned, she never hollered, she was steady trying to do a thing, but she, she she was getting fucked up. You understand? And so uh, uh, we picked up, and uh, you know we scratched game, and uh, but but all the Whitley dogs that everybody got in the world come off of Sandy, and dogs off of Sandy. Whitley Sandy. So if I hadn't made that decision, they wouldn't have had them dogs. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I say anytime you go in competition, it don't matter, man. Win, lose, draw, or pick up. You got to be able to see what's best for you and your dog. And uh, that night, uh, it was best that we pick Sandy up because she was getting bit the fuck up, but she was fighting like she was winning though. So that's why a lot of people love the Whitley dogs, because they know they 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 gonna be dead game. You know, you can be killing them and they they think they winning, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. how, how was that midnight though? How you like midnight? Which which midnight? Who had him? Oh my man said got got the little baby sister. Who? In midnight. Who little mate sister? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, um, Mike Dan said he he got the little mate sister too. Oh, one of your buddies? No, the guy on chat. Oh, he had a, a sister to Sandy? No, midnight. Oh, midnight. Oh, uh, uh, mid, mid, uh well, midnight is still young. He's a puppy, you know, and uh. They, uh, the people that got him, he 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 he, he said he liked them pretty good. He said he liked them real good, you know. So I said, well, damn, that's good, you know. He said he said he liked them real good, you know. You know, I, I, I would say I see a lot of alligator years prior. Oh, but they can't dish out what they take. Yeah, you seen a lot of alligator stuff back then? Um, I used that to thing. hear about the alligator dog. That nigga um, stuff. The nigga stuff. Huh? The nigga stuff. Uh, the nigga Toby dogs. Yeah, yeah, you know how, you, how they used to say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I seen them dogs, hard biting, rough dogs. Um, let, let me say this. Um, Irish Jerry bred one of his uh, stud dogs to a bitch that I bred that was uh, uh, crazy red. Uh, that one I told you that I won that match with, uh, with no teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. His sister, um, uh, I sold to a boy, which was, uh, but, but what I did was I bred the crazy red number one to, uh, uh, a bitch off uh, 
uh, Mr. Bulldog and Brandy, Brandy girl. Okay, so I bring Crazy Red to that bitch, and I got uh, Treva, Drill Bit. No, no, not Treva. Treva was the mama. That, that she came up, uh, Brandy girl, and Mr. Bulldog. I bred, uh, and 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 I and I got uh, busy. A bitch named Busy, and uh, so um, this guy, Brandy man, come. And he was buying a bunch of dogs and they were quitting and stuff. And then I told him, I said, look, man, if you want a good dog, you got to breed it. I said, but first you got to get a foundation dog, a dog that you can, you know, you can breed. It's going to throw some game dogs. You know what I mean? And then if you want mouth, you breed mouth to it so you can get a dog with game that's in mouth. And so uh, I saw him, the little bitch busy. And so he took the bitch to Irish Jerry and bred to uh, uh, one of his stud dogs. And uh, and he got a, a lot of good dogs out there and he was campaigning them and he did good. And so um, I don't know, how, but I, I know some kind of way uh, Mona Watts got dogs down off the stuff too. Uh, you done seen the JJ dog? Have y'all ever seen the JJ dog? I was just JJ dog. Mm -mm. No, I have. Have y'all seen that in any pedigrees? <clears throat> what? No, well, I, anyway, I ain't he, he, Um, I agree. I mean, you know, I think Irish Jerry used what the cheap stuff and the Red Bull stuff. That's what he was using. Anyway, uh, my the busy dog that I sold, that, that he got that stuff in him, you know, down off my stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, but uh, Mona told me she uh, crossed it with uh, the alligator stuff, and she done crossed it other ways, and she said she loved all the dogs that she done got off of. So it's a lot of them dogs floating around out there now. Yeah. Cause you had a little bit of everything. Huh? You had a little bit of everything. Well, you know, one one thing about me is um, you know, I, I wanted dogs that's gonna stay there, man. Fuck all that hard biting and you quit. <laughs> 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 hey, I experienced enough of them motherfuckers. Man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why I'm like, when I had all them Zebo dogs, and I mean, man, I was happy, man. I will go out there and feed all them up. And my homeboy that, that I started in the dogs with, he got to tell you, how you got all them motherfuckers they ain't worth a damn. <laughs> <laughs> all them goddamn curves. I said, shit, motherfucker, no, they ain't. He said, well, "What you gonna do with him?" I said, "I tell you what, bring your ass over here. We're gonna we're gonna have a battle royal out there. We're gonna we're gonna see what these motherfuckers made of. You know what I mean?" And uh, and we went uh, after I went through all of them. I had six of them left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> say, did, did, you had six bad ones though, huh? Yeah. Hey, every one of them was game. Mm -hmm. Every damn, and then they had mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the ones that I kept. They was game with mouth. But now uh, the other ones, they, they was had mouth, but they weren't game. They, they, I'm talking about they would break them up, put it down, and just be standing there looking at you. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> you know, motherfuckers look good as hell, man. Built, I mean, I mean, range is built like a damn... Oh man, them some bitches look good, man. But hey, my friend, did, 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 did you like the wild side? You like the wild side stuff? Um, the wild side stuff. Um, uh, you know, uh, matter of fact, Ed Farron came around uh, years ago, man, and uh, and uh, we just showed him, you know, what our culture was about. And he was so impressed, man. He was like, man, thank you for, you know, giving us the opportunity to even come around, you know. 
and uh, he took off uh, doing the wild side thing. And uh, so, I don't, you know, one thing about the wild side dogs, uh, he was breeding them, you know, they, they had that mouth too. And I'm sure there's some of them that, that, are, that are game. You know what I mean? I'm sure it is. Because he was around long enough to know you got to have game in your dog. And uh, so, um, I'm proud of what Ed has accomplished uh, over the years. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of times, uh, you know, it's like we 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 are family, man. You know, I don't care where Bulldog it is. If he on Mars, he, he my family. You know what I mean? Or if she on Mars, she my family. You know what I'm saying? Because we love the same thing and we're part of the same group. And so I, I feel like we all should support one another. And um, and that's the way it should be. Um, so I, I'm really proud of uh, Ed accomplishing it um, to the game and to all the people that he has touched with uh, his way of doing it and um, his words of wisdom. You know what I mean? So. That's that's good, man. And then you know, not only that, uh, Tom. I watched Tom too, man, over the years, you know, and uh, watched him go, you know, uh, to to where he is. You know, I'm I'm proud of all the brothers, you know, white, black, Chinese, Mexicans. I don't give a damn. You know, I'm proud of all the brothers that's been bulldog. Because this is something that, you know, you have to really feel in your bones, you know. Um, you got to really, really feel it, man. Because if you don't, you know, you, 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 you won't take it as serious as uh, some of us others have and do. And uh, I think, and like you, J-Bo, uh, you and, 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 and my, my other brother here, uh, you know, all the accomplishments and the things that y'all have achieved throughout y'all life, you know, you just can't measure that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's great to even be amongst uh, people that have achieved um, those things that uh, uh, people be proud to talk about and, uh, and see and uh, and you know, just live with those memories. I mean, I'm I'm glad for everybody, man. I just I just wish that uh the, the same way it was uh in the old days, it could be like that now, you know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, man, that, you know. that good time, man. <laughs> no, nah, them days gone, man. <laughs> <They're> gone. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, like, you know, I be hearing different stories about different things. I just hope that uh, the younger generation uh, understand more that it's a gentleman sport. And it's not about who got the biggest gun. You know, it, it ain't about who want to hurt who it's, 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 it's never been about that it's always been about the dogs and if people can leave it like that um, you know it'd be ever living you know what I mean mm -hmm. um, uh, I think it's going to be you know I think in the next hundred years Bulldog will still be here I, I, I just I'm like the, uh, I'm like the Bowles dog. Who, Bo? Yeah, it's a Bowles dog oh. or Ellen M. Solitaire. Who? Who? Say, that, say that again, J. Bo. Look like they had bowls up there. Balls? Cassandra. They had balls of Cassandra. Off of who? Sandra. Look like you said Cassandra. Cassandra. 
don't know. I don't know about that. What about a Bozak dog? The Bozak dog, yeah. I'm 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 I remember hearing about the Bozak dog uh, back in the day. Uh they said they were good dogs. Uh, I'm sure I probably seen some just don't remember because I was all over the place. And uh you know, when <clears throat> when you hear people talk about these dogs, you can best assure that there's been a lot of them that has did a lot of great things. And uh, and based upon what area you in, you hear more of them or less of them. But that don't take nothing away from how great they have been. Hmm. That's about your buddy. Your you buddy ever, uh, you mess with the mountain at home and stuff. Um, I I matched into a few of them, and um. Uh, the, I think the homo dogs are good, you know. They 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 have their place in history. Matter of fact, uh, we went to uh, Lester Hughes, and, uh, uh, and me and Fat Bill, who was it? Just me and Fat Bill. We ain't take nobody else with us. So me and Fat Bill, and we went up there with Bolero, and. Um, you know, Blaro Pedro though, and uh, no, let's see, yeah, Pedro, yeah, Pedro, and uh, so uh, anyway, I'll tell you the story. We was uh, down there, and um, we we were down um, in the countryside down there, and uh, I was doing uh, my big dude dog. I done had a few dogs named Big Dude. And so uh, the the white guy who walks up to me, he said, Jay and Tate is right here. I, I said, I said, what you say? Jay and Tate is right here around my neck. You see these, these Jay and Tate. I said, that's a good place for him to be. I said, that big dude got a in his mouth. <laughs> And uh, big dude came from uh, Gene Smith, you know, Honey Bunch dog. You know, Gene's Honey, Gene's Anna, the Honey Bunch dog. And man, let me tell you one damn thing. <laughs> man, big dude hit that motherfucker in the chest. This was one of them homo dogs. Man, he hit that son bitch in the chest, man. And I swear, he planted him right there, man. I mean, black, blue blood was everywhere. He just ate him up. And so uh, when the thing was over, I said, you still got dead teeth? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he needed them motherfuckers. <laughs> ah, so Lester Hughes and them, they done seen me over there, right? So they seen I won, you know, we don't kill one of his dogs. <laughs> uh, he was with old Larry Miller. So then uh, he said, oh, well, we got, we got our 32 bitch here. Uh, you know, our last, uh, he felt real soft, you know. And so uh, uh, so I know that Bill had Bolero. I was like, oh, hell yeah, yeah, we got one of them too, you know. <laughs> he said, well, okay, well, we, we can get one. So I go get Pat B out the yo, man. I said, uh, they say they got a 32. I said, let's get on their ass. He said, man, that's less than a man. I don't give a fuck who that is, man. We're gonna do these goddamn dogs, man. Tell the motherfucker, yeah, man. Oh, okay. man, goddamn, I don't want to hear that shit, man. Tell the motherfucker we're gonna do the thing, man. Go on and set the shit up. <laughs> Pat Bill, that's one thing I can say about that fat motherfucker. That fat son bitch is working the whole world. I'm telling you, I'll go anywhere with that motherfucker. Hey, if he worked that son bitch, yeah, but if he got a good one and he work it, God damn it, I'm betting with him, God damn it, because he's going to put his all in the motherfucker, you know, because he pampers the motherfucker when he working too. And so uh, me and him, we roll up there to the mountains, man. We get up there. This shit was funny, man. And so... 
right, so it was another match. Oh, yeah. What was that bitch name? Ed and them did a bitch that night. Him and Durant. Did that bitch name with Joe Lee, I believe. Is that Joe Lee? What was that bitch name? Anyway, the bitch quit. <laughs> The best quit. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> when it was over, he didn't come over there to me. He said, What you think? I said, Man, that best quit. What's wrong with it? Oh, no. Um, I don't know. I, I, maybe I might be saying that. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, the big clip that I saw <laughs> and, uh every time, okay, so Durant, I guess Durant was just frustrated with him, more like, fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> and so the guy that won, if he walked to the right, that dog would go to the left. <laughs> if he walked to the left, the dog would go to the right. <laughs> I'm watching this clip. I'm like, do you see this goddamn shit? This bitch is dodging the fucking dog, right? So, all right, so Ed and them lost. Durant and Ed, they lost. So now it's Pat Bill time. So I said, you ready? Here, killer. Here, he all nervous and shit. <laughs> goddamn, man, you can't be acting all fucking nervous. You know the bitch gonna goddamn feel you. Goddamn, go in there and let them know you got them. You do you doing this thing? Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> got him all pumped up and shit. <laughs> man, that Miss Homer bitch came out there on fire. Jumped on Valeria. Wop, 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 wop. Wop, 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 wop. Boy, Lester, Larry, all of them. Boy, he had his whole team. Man. It was a whole bunch of them. Boy, they were just excited. Goddamn, Bolero reached around there and grabbed that bitch. And man, goddamn, <laughs> she bit that bitch down. <laughs> I mean, Bolero bit that bitch in two. I'm talking about with nubs, man. Bolero didn't even have all the teeth, man. She got nubs and bit that bitch to the dirt, man. And Curry, that motherfucker out. Boy, I'm so happy for Bill. God damn it, I was happy as hell because, you know, they seen us down there and we won with Big Dude. So they felt like they just had some rookies, right? <laughs> hey, they got their ass toe up again. <laughs> so, but uh, I like Mountain Man. He was he was real wise. Got a lot of information. Been around a whole bunch of dogs, and uh, he was a good guy, man. You know, he just. You know, but like most good dog men, you win, lose, draw, or pick up. You know, all of it. Say, so, did you say something? No, no. Oh, lady, no the lady, the ladies that was in the dog back then, besides Kate, yeah. Uh, Katie Marlowe. Uh, let's see. Who else? Bill yeah, had some girl. Uh, knew some of she was. She rode motorcycles. She was fucking with the dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Hall wife, you know, kind of fuck with the dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? It's gonna be somebody that I ain't gonna remember, but I I know it was a few women. You know, um, who else? It it'll come to me later, man. Sometimes I can't I can't get it all together, but yeah, it's it's always been women in dogs, bro. Matter of fact, there was probably a lot of women behind the scenes of the dog. You know, didn't on front street you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know because a lot of guys they would be working and they had their wives and the kids you know messing with the dogs while they at work you know mm -hmm. so have you know anything about the other midland dogs like the um king touch caroline rose 
Yeah, that's all, all my dogs. <laughs> yeah, all my dogs come down off of Carolina Woods. Okay. All the Whitley, all the Whitley stuff we had come off of Carolina Woods. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that um, Midland stuff, the outlaw stuff, brought a little bit different than uh, the Red Boy stuff? Uh, let's see. Now, I done seen people with, uh, you know, dogs off the Red Boy, and then I done seen some dogs with uh, uh, the Midland outlaw Carolina Road stuff. Um, They kind of different, uh, but with the Melons outlaw stuff, them dogs had you know that that I had some dog could bite like hell. I'm talking about could bite like a motherfucker, you know. And um, so I don't know, and I'm sure it's probably some dogs that was off a of red boy could bite too, like you know same stuff, but. Um, what the difference may be, I don't know. Um, some might be uh, less skills than some of the others. But I like the Metlins Outlaw Red Boy dogs because they, they show skills. You know, you know I, I've had a whole lot of them. And I've, you know, I, I, I like what I've seen. Though. You've seen someone that breaks and stuff go? Uh, I've, a lot of people like the Sam break stuff, and uh, they, matter of fact, they crossed it with the uh, uh, some of the outlaw stuff. I think they got good dogs off of it too. You know, they got good dogs off. Would you say it, uh, I was somebody said something about the kingfish stuff, and twins say what's happening. Tell twin, what's up, my brother? True soldier to the maximum. The twins, <laughs> uh, the kingfish. Yeah, I seen the kingfish dogs years ago, man, and uh, uh, they were good dogs. As a matter of fact, uh, uh the kingfish kid, I met him. You know, I didn't meet his father, but I met the son, and uh, I liked him pretty good, man. But, you know. Like I said, I've met a lot of great people, man. You know, like the twins and all these guys, man. Just great people, man. I mean, you know, fun to be around, you know, you know, uh, true bulldog, you know, in the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know everybody in the chat screaming about something about no more goddamn chili beans. <laughs> yeah, hey, I wouldn't go to it. <laughs> What'd you say, uh, uh, J Bo? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go to that shit there. <laughs> Hey man, I thought I thought we was friends, man. You yeah, know, we didn't, but there were no we didn't, oh, Hey, look here, you know. Hey, hey, now, now this, this, I don't know if I ever told the full maximum story, but let me just run it by you though. So now the motherfucker called me. Hey, boom, what you doing? Uh, his name Jackie Potter, not Jackie uh, Parker, Jackie. Hot turf. Okay. So, you know, he comes, hey, 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 I got a dog about, I think I did drill bit at 36, 36, 36 pounds, yeah. So uh, he said, look, my wife going to cook some chili beans and some cornbread. I want you to come on up here with your dog and, and we're going to have a good time. Okay, boom? I said, okay, cool. So I called Mr. Willie. I said, hey, man. Oh man, Jackie Potter said, Let's come up there. I'm gonna do it. And uh, he said, we're, we're gonna have a good time. I said, Okay. He said, Yeah, well, let's go, boom. You know, me and Mr. Whitley, who else we took? Jam. Who else? Uh, 
five or six, I think it was, it was a few of us way back. So um, we get up there and hey, boom, you know, he had on his shiny boots and had mm. black pants and black cowboy shirt and, you know, he blacked out. You know what I mean? Cool dude, old man, brother Jacket Potter, you know? So um, we there and his wife, they said, all right, we got jelly beans. He said, Go put the jelly beans. We got the plates, man. We got to eat chili beans and cornbread. Like, man, this shit good, man. We eating that, man, Miss Willie. We talking and shit. So uh, we all smiling. We happy, you know. Now we done counted up the money and everything. So, uh, you know, uh, Durant was the referee. And so, uh, you know, and uh, so uh, we, we, we we get ready to do the dogs. And uh, so we don't wash them and everything, you know what I mean? And so the bucket that had the soapy water, some kind of way, it got beside the pit. And I don't know if it was an accident or a mistake. I don't know. But it, the soapy water was beside the pit. So um, we in there and uh, Jackie, you know, before we dropped the dogs, he said, I can't stand a fucking red dog. Dang shit. You know, he had them uh, Homer dogs, I believe. Yeah. Uh, uh, Homer. Stuff down off Homer and stuff. And so uh, I'm like, yeah. Oh, no, I don't I don't like no goddamn Red Bull dogs. They ain't worth a goddamn. It's that, it's that. I said, well, this, this, this is a Red Bull dog you get ready to go against. Oh, we gonna kill that bitch. I said, yeah, okay. All right. And we got them, put them in there, got them, we come loose. God damn it, boy, you and big got to crushing that big skull and taking the fucking meat out of a muzzle. And God damn, that bitch went to turning and got them acting funny and hollering. And so uh, I called a turn on the dog. And uh, so now we trying to get a handle. So I fuck around, I get a handle, I get drill bit. So the motherfucker throw the soapy bucket of water sponge to me. And Mr. Willie say, boom, don't touch that damn sponge. That, that sponge got soap water. God damn, well, why the fuck y'all let the motherfucker throw it to me? I say, hey, man, get this shit out of here, man. We can't put this shit on the dog. Get us some fresh water. So we had to wait. But, I mean, we, we didn't wait, but, you know, we had to, they had to get another bucket of water with a sponge. And so I don't know if they were trying to, I don't know. You know, it, it, I just think it might have been an honest mistake. You know what I mean? So anyway, so drill bitch smashed up. Bang! God damn it. Biting the hell at that motherfucker. So we curl them all out. And so now, you know, we smile and we just shook hands and everything. And I said, uh, damn, I said, boy, I'm, I'm thinking in my mind. I said, man, them chili beans were good. <laughs> Hey, hey back in. Can, can we get some more of them chili? Ain't no goddamn more chili beans. <laughs> <laughs> we need on your own. Hey, you got a big pot in there, man. We seen the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no goddamn more chili beans. Where you know them damn chili beans after what I have? Hey, hey Jack Wong. Hey, we fucked up the goddamn chili bean. Hey, hey goddamn it, we'd have lost you the game or something. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you had a big plate. <laughs> hey, hey, there ain't no more motherfucking chili beans for y'all niggas. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, that's how be a hard at Oh, well, we cried. Mr. Willis said, come on, boo, let's go. Let's go. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. <laughs> he mad now. He mad. <laughs> yeah, he is. I, I was still smiling to him, man. I want some new chili beans, man. God damn, man. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we done been a lot of different places, man, and seen a lot of things, and 
But I had so much fun, man. So much fun. So much fun to sometimes bring tears to your eyes when you had roadies that roll with you and y'all done laugh and uh, enjoy the moment. And then, you know, they, they, they go on on to the most high, you know. Mm-hmm. And, fat, fat beer in the chat. Huh? Say what? Fat beer in the chat. What's up, FB? Hey, I had to tell him how Bobo ate Miss Homer up. <laughs> hey, hey, Bill, what was that bitch name that quit before we did uh, Bolero? What's that? What's her name? Uh, what I tell you what the bitch name was? What did I tell y'all that bitch name was? Name was what was the fuck that bitch name? Oh, uh, did, did he respond? Did Bill respond? Miss Ruth. Miss Ruth. Miss who? Miss Ruth. Miss Ruth. Okay, is that the bitch that quit before Bellaro went on there? Yeah, I think that's what he was saying. That was her name was Miss Ruth. Okay, well, Miss Ruth. I, I, I thought it was Jolene. It, it wasn't Jolene. It was Miss Ruth. She got beat by Cameron's Bandit. Huh? She got beat by Cameron's Bandit. That's what he put up there. Cameron's Bandit. No, I'm Kimber's talking about Kim. Huh? No, I think, hey, Bill, I think he talking about when y'all went up the mountain, man. The right, that's mountain. what I'm saying. When we went up there, it was a female that quit that Ed Perrin and them had. Was that Mean Jolene, or what was that bitch name? Yeah, nothing hard to say Mean Jolene. Huh? Somebody else say Mean Jolene. That's what I thought. What what Bill say though? Because he, she, we we went after her. I mean, what I'm saying when the match was over with her, then Blaro went up. He had his fun, kid. You say he can't remember. You said he can't remember. Ed had a lot of dogs quit. <laughs> hey, he, he came over and said, hey, boom, hey, boom. I said, what? He said, what you think? I said, think about what? He said, that bitch right there. That bitch quit this. Yeah, but what you think? <laughs> Then the next thing I know, the bitch lost game. I was like, shit. <laughs> Who the fuck? What? Okay, well, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> but uh, nah, that dog quit in the corner, man. <laughs> the dog that I'm talking about, you know, she stood in there. She stood in the corner and took the count. But, uh, yeah, that's good, man. Damn, ain't no FB be on it. Damn, man, y'all got a good little following, don't you? Yeah, man, every now and then if somebody show up for a twin, holler at you again. I don't know if it's the other one or not. Say what now? Twin, holler at you again. I don't know if it's the other one or not, but you see what's happening, big brother? Okay, there is two of them. What's up, my brother? Them are called them troop soldier. To the maximum. Yes, I. <laughs> hey, hey, all of us need to go down there to uh um uh, is May the what 18th, J Bo? Yeah, May the 18th. Yeah, uh, it's May the 18th, and they're gonna honor J Bo, uh Rudy, Lockdown Rudy, uh who else? 
Uh, it, oh, the it, case, say, the case people. say the names on the uh, flyer there. I mean, J Bo. Uh, that dope motherfucker. We got Richard Goodson, uh, Cake, uh, um, Trap. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, they got a nice little lineup. Like you said, Rudy. And who else? Yeah, um, yeah Kate Fever. Okay. Yeah, make sure you say the name clear so so the folks can hear you, man. Here, here you go. Lockdown Rudy. Danny Goodson. Mona Watts, Mad, Sam Cates, Backstreets, JoJo, Trey Ace Kip, and nobody don't hear about that last nigga. J-Bo. Yeah. <laughs> J-Bo. <laughs> I don't hear about that last nigga. <laughs> So, so if all you brothers out there that's listening, man, come pay homage to uh, uh, the brothers that's going to be uh, on it and, uh, and check the vibe out, man. Check the vibe out. Come check it out. I think you say he, he can pick up a couple more people since the last time I talked to him. Okay. Okay, good. 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 Hell, call your name. I don't want to be in it now. Uh, so when, uh, uh, hey, when he calls your name, I don't want to be in that now. I'm going to stand on the side and look too. Shit. Well, it, 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 it'd be an honor to be standing in, next to, you know, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, man, that's that's what we need to be doing. Just you know, digging uh, uh, up four or five people in that group. They ain't gonna, ain't gonna want to get high with me. Oh, why? She but we have... can't worry about it. We, we can't worry about all that, Jay Jay Bo. You you done not put your time in, and hey, that's what that's what yeah. this is all about. That's why I want to be on the sideline looking too. Yeah, you know, you done not put your time in, man. So. Just being rewarded for that, you know what I mean? I, I yeah, think I'm, I, I should be in the next age group of it when when it come around again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that'll be ride down with you, boom. Huh? Bill said he gonna ride down with you. All right, tell him, come on. He said road trip. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean the house. I'm gonna have to clean the house out, goddamn. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean the house out. Put on. Have some way for y'all to tear that bitch up while you're here. Hey, J Bo, how far you you stay away from where it's gonna be at? I think about an hour or so. About an hour. Oh, about an hour. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 Oh, okay. Okay. But that ain't far. That ain't far. One, thing, one thing about where I stay at and one thing about where you're going to stay at over there, they got a big difference. What's the difference? By me free. Say, oh, by, stay by you free. Yeah. Okay, well, shit, man. We, we might pull our shit over there by you then. <laughs> <laughs> I move all my shit out there and stand, and I and I move next door and yeah, you have somewhere to go. Uh, shit, we'll 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 come and stay by you, man. Shit, hey, hey it's all good. Fucking J Bo, goddamn yeah. top dog, fucking top dog, J Bo. Yeah, I go I go next door, and and you can stay over here. Hey, 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 but damn, man, I don't know how that's gonna work, cause. Slick said he want to go, and Bill want to go. God damn it, y'all going to get along. Oh, Lord. 
That's what I'm saying, man. God damn, man. Somebody go to sleep on the couch. Y'all go to flip for it. <laughs> no, nah, man. I'm just saying. I want. I, I just want slick and Bill to get along and quit. Fucking <laughs> trip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, what? Yeah, have him come up. Say what now? Yeah, well, I, I say I ain't touching that shit. I don't know what he said. <laughs> who, who, who said something? I must be known to say something. Oh, no, I was just saying, yeah. Yeah, well, I hope that all of us could be in the same place, man, and just be, be men, man, just, you know, just on the bulldog circuit, you know what I mean, without any animosity or want to hurt anybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, tell me. yeah. Take that, yeah, Big Hill, he messed over me. Say what now? I'm talking to Big Hill, I know that me in the, in the car with the great dreads. Mm. Oh. Well, how, how long we done, how long we done been on, man? It's about a day and a half. <laughs> hey, hey, go get them goddamn chili beans, man. <laughs> hey, J Bo, you gonna have some chili beans when we come, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that ain't number red bean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jay, well, go to have some chili beans for us, man. <laughs> yeah, man I, I, I do that now. <laughs> hey, I don't know what, 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 like, what is y'all culture dish down there? What, what is like, like a dish that y'all eat a lot down that way? Uh, I'm a fat nigga. Yeah, well, I know you hear a goddamn thing. <laughs> I, I'm I'm funny and then I'm funny eating. I don't eat shit. I don't eat mustard greens and all that little kind of shit. I'm a meat eater. So I oh, that yeah. green. That yeah. green, no oh. type of vegetables. You don't eat no vegetables, man. Oh, oh, man. Gonna have have salt yeah, yeah, eat poke and beans. Man, I love vegetables, man. I, I, I love all my vegetables, man. Corn, carrots, beans. Uh, green collard greens, kale, uh, cabbage. Man, uh, I mean, I, I eat all that shit, man. I love that shit. You could deal, you oh, could deal meat for the girl. No, no, I don't, I don't eat no deal meat. <laughs> 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 no, I don't eat no deal meat, man. Now, I eat uh, uh, some uh, chicken, fish. And uh, beef, you know, I don't eat no pork, I don't cook with no pork, and uh, you know, but hey, but yeah, now y'all down there by the coast, you got a bunch of seafood down there, don't you? Oh, no, I'm in town, I'm in the city, ain't no water, right? ain't no water by my house, that's a pipe bus. Oh, <laughs> you crazy, <man. laughs> I live in the city, I stay downtown, I stay, I stay in South Baton Rouge. Where the rappers rap about. Oh man, you stay down there. Yeah, I stay in South Baton Rouge. Everybody that be rapping about South Baton Rouge, that's that's where I stay at. Everybody be talking about the all that that be going on in South Baton Rouge, that's the neighborhood mm -hmm. I stay in. Oh, okay. But goddamn man, we, we, we yeah, that that'll be a good good weekend. Yeah, yeah. You can go fishing with them. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I go buy yeah. some fish. I go buy some fish. <laughs> I had a shit yeah. right off here. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got no yeah, yeah. The mosquitoes yeah, are yeah. toasting. Don't let them talk about no sack of legs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. We, 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 we'll buy some fish or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. What kind of fish they eat down there? Sack of legs. Man, if you say, yeah, if you say sack lane ain't good, don't believe you got me with that one. Yeah, well, he didn't know that he, I, I, I caught him green. He come fresh from Maryland. Me, me and him with fish. Boy, he caught about five, six big-ass sack I ain't caught nothing. I was mad as a motherfucker. 
Oh, time to go. He looking at me talking about, uh, what, what are we going to do with these? I said, man, nobody eat that shit. I said, I know an old lady we, I give them to. She might eat them. Or oh, he ain't saying nothing. I was smiling my ass off when I got them fish from his ass. I don't know who told him. I was lying. But I told him to talk up on this motherfucking ass. You know the boys out of town don't know nothing about no fucking soccer Talking about they ain't good. Man, don't nobody eat that shit. Say, bro, them bitches were good. You ever ate one yet, bro? You ever ate a soccer leg? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, of course, after that. Bro, that bitch was retarded, wasn't it? Man, what? Talking about some of the, the best uh fish you can eat. Okay, hold on. What's, the, what's some of the best fish you can eat? The soccer leg? Hold on, man. Who told me them bitches were nasty? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, we're talking. Isn't that right? Hey, Rossum, man, you back? He just popped back in. Mm-hmm. Oh, comments says that J-Bo, when you get to the show, they're going to stick your head in the room and <laughs> show you <a> smile. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, close the door back. Yeah, that's how I show up at funerals, and then they be looking for me after that. Your mic on, hooked up on, Ross, man? Oh, yeah, I think it's on. Oh, I ain't lying. I miss eating bacon, bro. I used to eat a BLT every morning. I mean, every morning I had a BLT. You like the Mexican? Yeah, that crap of that truth. That goddamn flathead cat. Man, that'd be good. Too. Buffalo and crap. They say about them Buffalo ribs. I said the buffalo ribs good, good as hell. The buffalo and that crap. I think you're talking about the fish. Yeah. I ate a little buffalo one time, but I ate the whole fish. I don't think that uh, after I finished eating the fish, I don't even think I ate the ribs. I ain't really like the fish. Oh, so just the ribs are good? Man, that's the that news. said that's what everybody be eating off of them. I got one about 40 pounds. I went up there and snagged it. And I didn't know they were just eating the ribs, you know. I, I thought they were eating buffalo shit. <laughs> the friend said, You got to be the soft eater buffalo. You ain't lying. <laughs> what about the uh, gar? Oh, I'm saying, but I love gar fish. I love golf fish, bro. I, I like to cook my own brown gravy. Yo, can y'all hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we got you now. Yeah, yeah, we. I had. I don't know what happened, man. I, I could hear y'all, but y'all couldn't hear me. Man, 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 you eat golf fish? What? What kind of fish? Golf. No, nah, what is that? Like, like a uh, alligator golf. No, nah, I don't want none of that. Oh man, man, that motherfucker got some brown gravy. What? What? Man, I bitch is some brown gravy, I'm telling you. What 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 kind of regular fish y'all eat? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, man, I don't know to get some red fish. Yeah, that does. Hey, hey, what about red snapper? Red snapper. Man, I ain't never seen a real snapper before in my life besides on TV. Damn. Well, we got some red fish, though. Some red what? Red fish. What now? What is uh, what is that? How is that? Uh, that's like a um, a drum. A red drum. I done heard of drums before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, drum. And that's I'm, all I'm, 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 I might, I might try that. Ain't nothing but a salt water goo. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, look. 
don't J Bo, don't go, don't go buying nothing. Just wait till we get there and we just go, we'll go get one. <laughs> <laughs> You go buy a whole bunch of shit. I was like, man, I ain't eating that shit. <laughs> I don't want you to get mad at me, man. Uh, Instead of saying uh, it ain't no more, you say, motherfucker, you had me buy all this shit. <laughs> boy, that, boy. Hey, look, y'all cook chicken. Y'all, y'all cook chicken down there, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of, man, I'm tired of chicken. I'm kind of, I'm running from chicken. Oh, yeah. I ain't chicken every goddamn day. I'm going to believe in them jokes and shit. Well, 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 maybe we'll eat some chicken. Uh, y'all got steak down there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if I can find yeah. some, some other kind of way to cook chicken. Oh, what, you got to find another way to cook it? Yeah, man, I'm getting kind of bored the way I be eating chicken. Fried chicken, how, baked chicken. How, how, how you eat it? How you think? Barbecue chicken, fried chicken, baked chicken, stew chicken. What about jerk chicken? You eat jerk chicken? No, see, that's I know. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't know nothing that. about jerk? No, no, I don't know nothing about that. Oh, oh man, I, I be killing that shit, man. Yeah, I, 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 I be fixing it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, we, but I'm sure y'all got some uh, decent restaurants around there, don't you? Man, I don't buy oh, yeah. any food no more. I, I be kind of doing this up myself. Mm-hmm. Man, well, hell, we, man, we, man, we, man we, if I feed three people, that shit might be $400. What? Man, that shit retarded down here, man. I fuck some people. Man, we go out yeah, there and pick some people, man. The bill be literally oh, $400. Yeah. God damn, man. Yeah, we might have hey, to go to the you make it home. Damn, yeah, Ty, you make it home, you home. Hey, look, look, look. We we we'll just go to the grocery store, man, and buy up some shit. And uh and do it that way. But you say y'all got catfish too, right? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I, I, I love that like flathead. Yeah, I, I like catfish too. I like mm-hmm. catfish too. But 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 man, did we have any more questions? We done? Yeah, I'm not. I'm too satisfied. Mm. I think I think that's uh I think that's about it. Yeah, we it's about that time anyway. We usually try to wind it down around a three hour mark. Shit, we at two fifty seven. Okay. Well, look, man, I really enjoyed y'all brothers having me on your show. Anytime you feel like you want me to come back, just let me know. And uh, maybe uh, have hey, 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 y'all had my my brother uh, Bakari on the show yet? No, man, we love to talk to him. Okay, well, I'm gonna get him and uh, Ram. What about Ram? Have y'all had him? No, uh, uh-uh. uh. Okay, I mean, we'll get Ram. Yeah, yeah, and all them in August, look like lately. Um, I say all them in August lately. Okay, what about schoolboy? Hey, y'all had him? Yeah, we had him. Okay, well, I'ma get I'ma get Bakari and I'ma get Ram to come on then so y'all can vibe them because they they some good brothers with a lot of knowledge and and the energy. You know, them brothers got energy like you know, y'all like, you know what I mean? We 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 all like energy, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, man, and uh hey, y'all did fat bill. No, no, but he's been in chat calls every now and then. But shit, man, you, you might need to talk to Fat Bill, get him on the show too, man. Uh, what what about the twins? Have y'all had them? Yeah, made them a couple of times. I haven't got hollered. Look, I haven't got hollered a couple of times. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, you know, so, so yeah, man, let's let's try to get the, a couple of them brothers. That I, that I just named some of my brothers, and uh, we get them on the show. I'm gonna let them know, and um, and we just keep on moving. But yeah, bro, we go, we go, we gonna come out, man. We are gonna come and hang out with you, J Bo. I, I like your vibe, man. I like yeah, your vibe. Man. Well, I'm gonna tell you, do, do, do you do you do you remember Biggs, the 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 the, the, the big fat guy that stayed in Alabama? You know him? No. 
Okay, he died, yeah, but I, I, man, I used to love to talk to that dude, man. Man, that dude had me laughing, man. We would laugh, talk. Man, we talked for hours, man, but, uh, and, and I, I got I got one of my homeboys, man, that I like, uh, prime time. I, I, like, I like to get y'all to divide prime time. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, because I always thought, <coughs> oh, we got a guy down here named prime time. <laughs> and I figured out it was two different people. No, nah, no, nah, this, this brother here from Florida. <laughs> they they call him Bell Glade Charles. You know him? No, I, I, I know, I know, I know of him. Okay, yeah, he, he's a good dude, man. You you'll like to talk to him. Real wise guy, real smart. When I say wise, I'm talking about smart, wise brother. You know what I mean? He ain't no fool, you know. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and, uh, so it's a whole lot of brothers I know, man. I can see you wait, man. So, uh, but look, we're going to go ahead and end it. I love y'all brothers. I love your show. All the people that's out there in the chat, I appreciate you asking the questions. And uh, to my brother Slick, I hope that me, you, Bill, and the rest of us can go down there and have a good time without you and Bill few. okay? <laughs> All right, brother. We'll holler at y'all another time, okay? Okay, now. All right, All right man. I appreciate All you coming out. Yeah, anytime. Anytime. Oh, yeah, your boat. Oh, well, she boat. Dang. Oh, out too. <laughs> All right, fellas, man. Appreciate everybody coming out. Appreciate that, Mike Dan. Old Mayhem Salute. Dickie Foster. Fat Bill. Live life real. My man. Vernon Star. Twins. One and two. Marcus B. Eli Monson. Oh, hold on. You stayed up the whole time? You ain't had to catch no movie or get nothing to eat? Supreme. Big Hill. Big Hill. I need you to come up here and drop some bars, man. I appreciate that, um, Tall Pines. I really do. Scrap. Yeah, man. He done, he done left me in the car. He must know something under the seat that I don't know about. Flip, big logic, man. Peace out, y'all coming out. Can we all just get along? Scratch line, arrowhead. Man, y'all go check out on Arrowhead. Marcel Shepard. Man, appreciate that. We trying, we trying. Like you said, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hey, I get it. Sometimes you got to get it off your chest. Yeah, Arrowhead. What's your link, Arrowhead? Or well, some of y'all, if y'all can click on this, um, actually on the icon, you be able to go straight to to it. Should we rock with you too, King Solomon? Oh yeah, man. I got so I got a freezer full of whiting right now, Vernon Star. I like that sea bass too. I've been on the sea bass lately. You two flip. Now y'all start y'all week off right.
certain kennels. Common sense, Blue, if you still up in here. Peace out, cry. Pressure. Thanks for coming through. Yeah, that sea bass, man. I've been. Thank you, Eli. Always scratch the wind, going hard. Yeah, you had you a hell of a keep on 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 you must on that uh the other night, twin. Oh, it never lets you go to people pages. Hey, Arrowhead, um, drop the link into your page. Oh, yeah, fam. I was like, boy, how he was coming. I said, oh, that boy going to run hot. I said, that boy breathing all night.
17. Luke. Ooh, 317. Well, I guess that pace is real. <laughs> 